Maafin saya. Maafin saya. How can he just leave without giving me my hands? Where could he have gone to? And when is he coming back? Abina! Hi. Abina! to this kitchen. Still asleep. Okay, where are you coming back from? Mama, so I, I woke up this morning to warm your herb. Then I saw that it has finished, so I ran out to fetch some before you wake up from sleep. Mm. Mm. Are you not the only one that goes to that pot? How come you did not know it was finished? <laughs> Mama, all I can remember is I, I know it, it was remaining after I gave you a, a pot to drink. I'm very surprised to see that it is finished. This morning. Lupina, do you ever listen to yourself when you talk? How many of us are living in this house? So who drank it? Mama, it was re remaining. Okay, Biko, go and prepare that one and give me to take my morning dose. I'll say so.
Hey, I go warm. Mama is hot. It's warm. <laughs> My, is it bitter? Hi. Mm. Mama. What would I have done without you as my son? I keep thanking God every day for giving you to me as a son. Mama, you haven't seen anything yet. You know I still make money. And every money I make belongs to you. <laughs> because there's nobody like you. You will surely make money, my son. Amen. You will. Mama, you want more? I've not even finished this one. <laughs> Unless you want to join me and drink. Mama, drink, drink. You're supposed to finish it. Uh -uh. My king. Please temper justice with mercy. Please do not punish me at the height of your wrath. I and look at me and my household with the eyes of mercy. The consequences of your actions are indeed grave. Very However, I have looked at your antecedents. I will temper justice with mercy. You are hereby relieved of your office as the Chief Security Officer of this palace. Go home, pack your things and leave this palace and never return. Thank you, Your Highness, for preserving my life. I will forever be indebted. Pick one of the guards, let him man the gate in place of Amobi who has just been fired. Yes, Your Highness. Then go to Afungwa. Tell him I said he should select from our youths. A capable hand, a capable and responsible youth from a decent home who will assume the duty of the chief security officer of this palace. Yes, Your Highness. Remind him. Remind him that Not an old man this time. I will do just that, Your Highness. Go. Igwe.
darling, I heard you've relieved Amobi of his duties in this palace. Mm, you heard well. Just like that. What would you have wanted me to do? Send him to jail? He deserved even worse. Yeah. Well, he was deceived and uh, acted in error. I had to temper justice with mercy. So who is going to take over his position? I sent word to Afonwa. I told him to get me a boy. I have no intention of having old men again. Exactly my thoughts too. Just know that God has decided to bless you and Mama. The salary the king will be paying you at the end of every month, no institution in the city or any other place around this region will pay you. <laughs> Afoma, eh? wait. When do I start? Immediately. Like tomorrow? If you want to start today, you start today. But I've never been to the palace before. Wouldn't they send me away if I go there? Nobody will send you away. Tell them that I, Afonwa, sent you, that you want to see the king. When you see the king, tell him that I was the one that sent you. Eh? Mm. That's all. Afonwa? Mm? I should tell the, the king you, yes. you sent me? Yes, yes. And that would be all. Just like that? Just like that. Just like that? Just like that. Hey! <laughs> Mama! Oh, Mama! Huh? Oh. <sighs> Mama, God has answered our prayers. What happened? <sighs> Mama was by myself. Afonwa called me. Afonwa? Which Afonwa? Mama, Afonwa Elotanna, the king's special advisor. Oh, okay, okay. What did he tell you? Mama, he has gotten a job for me at the palace. Hi! Mama! <laughs> I've always said that this God whom I worship in truth and in spirit will never leave me. He will never fail me. Eh? Mama. I've always known that one day this our suffering will end. Mama, that day has come. Today is the day your son now works at the palace. <laughs> and mama, mm. you and I, my salary will take care of us. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Mama. So proud of you. Thank you. Hey! Mama, how long have you been doing that? Uh, no, I just started. Okay, let me help you. I'm coming. Be that. Yes? Good, good afternoon. Good morning. Please, I... I'm here to see the king. Did the king give you any appointments? No, no, no. Just tell him um, I found why Lotana sent, sent me. Okay, wait. Eh? I, I should wait. Mm -hmm. 
I'm waiting. So it's good. It's good to eat them when you have a special Long live your majesty. Greetings, my queen. There is a young man at the gate. He said Afuma sent him to the palace. Send him in. Yes, Your Majesty. Greetings from my widowed mother. Rise. Rise. What's your name? My name is Obina. I'm the only son of late Didinta Echefu, who died so many years ago and made my mother a, a widow. My mother's name is Ezinne Ojugo from Obinago village. So, what brings you to my palace? Your Majesty, some day, days ago, fate smiled on me when Afo a Lotana called me and said, I have been given the opportunity to serve in the palace. He, he sent me to you, Your Majesty. Did he also tell you the duties you have at the palace? He told me, Your Majesty. He said, I have been given the opportunity to watch over your household the day and night. And I believe he also told you the reason we sent away the last person that was here before you. Because we won't condone any such carelessness and insubordination from you. Yeah, yes, my queen. I, 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 I promised my widowed mother that I will serve the king with all my heart. I also promised her not to bring shame to our family as walking in the palace has always been my prayer. If you work hard, you are likely not to have any problem. A lot of distractions are the adequate, but I implore you, to remain focused, and you shall forever be happy. I promise to do my best, my, my, my queen. Turn round. Sir? Turn round. Round. Round! You don't know what turning round means. Welcome to the palace. God, show him to his room. Let's go. Thank you. Go. Thank you. Go.
I believe he has made the right choice. Like repeating myself, who are you? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm the new uh, security commander in this in this palace. <laughs> Welcome back. Who appointed you, Ma? I said I hate repeating myself. Do not make me do that again. Who appointed you? Oh, <laughs> the king, your father. <laughs> You must be joking. No, I'm not joking, ma. So you mean to tell me that of all the able-bodied men in this kingdom, my father chose you exactly. to replace Amobi? Exactly. He said I'm the best for the job. <laughs> yes. This is ridiculous. No, no it's not. Ma. But thank you, ma. Listen to me, mister. You are unfit for this job. You can't work in this palace. And that's on period. As I speak to you right now, I need you to start taking off the uniform. No, no, ma, you don't understand. You, you, your father said I'm the I best. told you I hate to repeat myself. Take them off. Take them off. Take it off. Ma, Everything. Madam, but Take the, it off. But the king told me that I'm, I'm, I'm the, the best for the job. Don't worry. I need to speak to my father immediately. And I don't want to come out to see you wearing this again. You must be joking. You can't is... walk here. Ooh. The, the king, the king told me, the king told me that I'm, be, I'm the, the best man for the job. Well, don't keep looking at me that way. You know what you're supposed to be doing. I don't know. Tell me, what would you like to eat? Adizi, you're back. Welcome, my daughter. Thanks. How was your trip? Good. Good? But you don't look it. That is because I met some young man at the gate who introduced himself as our new security personnel. And I'm wondering why, when, how? He is our new security personnel. Really? Father, did you actually employ that young man yourself? Do you have any problem with that? Go straight to the point. Okay. The point is, that young man is not fit to work here. He's too young to be our chief security personnel. Ever since I was born and raised in this palace, I grew up knowing older men, men with families and responsibilities as our security personnel, and I was told the reason behind that. Okay? So, I'm wondering, who suddenly changed the narrative? After what happened the last time with uh, the consent of your mother here, I decided to bring in a younger fellow. Change, they say, is uh, the only thing that is constant. My dear, that young boy may be better. No way, father. That boy I saw at the gate, 
with the way his eyes were flickering. He cannot do anything for us. He's not fit. He's unfit, Father. No way. Father, that young guy can easily be bought. He has no kids, no family, nothing to look onto. Should he decide to commit any sort of atrocity against us? Um, my beloved daughter, even Amobi who has children and responsibilities, like you rightly said, was deceived. So it's not about age. Let's just watch and see how it goes. And to tell you the truth, my dear, you have no right whatsoever to question the actions of your father. Apart from being your father, he is the king of this entire Ochasia Sa province, and his words represents authority. That's my queen. And thank you so much for reminding me that my words carry no water in this palace. I'll be my own better. We know where she's coming from. Yes, I do. The princess of the kingdom said that she take off my clothes. She asked you to remove your security uniform and you did. Yeah, she said I should go naked. Will you put on your uniform and go back to work immediately? Ma. You heard me. Thank you, ma. I saw him. He said hello. Is that like you only <laughs> seen him, man. How bad? How I, mean, I, told I, him I hate intimidation. I hate ah. intimidation. I hate when a human being treats his fellow human being like, like an animal, like a slave. Ah. Eh? What is she saying? How am I supposed to know? He's not the princess. A few moments ago, she asked the new security guy to pull his uniform and he obeyed her. No, not long ago, the queen came out and saw that he wasn't wearing his uniform. And they started scolding him for not wearing his uniform. Instead of going to scold the princess who asked him not to, 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 to pull his uniform. Eh, if she had disobeyed the princess now, it would have been another problem. Yes, it would have been another problem if he hadn't listened to the princess. Same no thing. problem. How are we hmm? sure they are not testing this boss loyalty? What kind yeah. of test is that? Uh, 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 uh. Considering the fact what happened last with Amobi, she could be right. My problem here is even with the boy, not the royal family. That is my problem. The boy? Yes. What did he do? This, Naya, this boy doesn't have any future at all. He doesn't. How can a boy full of energy that is supposed to be in the city hustling come to the palace to be a, 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 a gate man? Hi. It's not good though. I pity that boy. Gates man that old men used to stand. That is what the fine boy decided to be in the palace. Please stop it. Stop please. what? Stop it. Why are you talking like this? What if he has no other choice? Eh? This man. There are choices everywhere. That boy is just naive. Eh? How can he decide to be a gates man? Just a gates man. Ordinary gates man with no shame, no kobo. Coco. I don't even know why I'm even talking to both of you. Eh? I just know I hate intimidation. Chineke. It's not fair. Oh, you know she doesn't like such talk. You know. How about this? You know that. I know what I'm doing. How about this? I know what I'm saying. It's my fault. Oh, it's my fault. Oh, it's my fault. Oh, it's my fault. Oh, it's my Thank you. 
Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, you don't know me? No, you ask what? Oh, sorry. I'm the new um, security commander in the palace. So I should fly? No, 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 I, I, I didn't say that. I, I was told you, you people are in charge of my food, so I came to collect it. You came to collect your food? Yes. We are in charge of your food? Yes. Mm. Indeed, you poor man. So it's because of food you came to this palace. It's because of ordinary food. That is why you're here. Hi. You came to collect your food. Hungry boy. No wonder you ended up as a gate man at the palace. As big as you are. It's food that is your problem. Food. You want to eat food. Hmm? Well, go inside and collect the food. The food is waiting for you. Idiot. Hungry food. It's so. Don't listen to her. What do you want? No, I don't want anything. Let me no, just. Come, come. I may be of help. What do you want? No, no, I was just telling her that I am the. I'm the new security commander in this palace. And I was told that uh, you people are in charge of my food. So I came to collect it. You haven't eaten? I haven't. I've not eaten all day. Since morning? Yes, since Do you know what? Please go back to your post, okay? I'll be back. That the new security man has not eaten. Hi! Anyway, I did not remember that we have a new security man. And I forgot to dish out his food. You forgot? Yes, you know, since I'm be left, one of the guys used, uh, used to keep watch of the gate, and they are, they are all inclusive in my list. So, it did not occur to me that a new security man has taken over. What are we going to do? Because the young man is very hungry. Uh, okay, I think I still have some food left. Let me dish it out for him. I'm sorry. It's okay, you don't owe me an apology. It's him you owe an apology. Just give him his food. Okay. And it's the right thing. Okay. This past one week at the palace was horrible. I almost stopped working, if not for you. What actually happened? Mama, where do I start from? Where? Is it the princess? She hates me with a passion. Is it the king, the queen, or the maidens? Mama, they have turned me into a laughing stock. Do they, what are they called? The palace guards. Boys like me. Mama, they all despise me. What have I done wrong? Nothing. Well, my 
my son. The road to success is very rough. And the beginning of every good thing is rougher. Don't get discouraged. No? Just give them time. With time, some of them will become your friends. And you will start telling with them well. Ne? Mm? Whenever such a thing happens, remember your old mother at home. Always have in mind that that salary they will pay you at the end of the month will help you do one or two things for your poor mother. You know go. Manugo. And I want you to know that I love you so much. Mama, I love you too. And that's why I'm still walking there. That's my son. I'm taking all those insults from those people because I have to work to make money for you. Thank you. Keep taking the insults. Till now? Oh, here he comes. Greetings, my, my princess. Are you just coming to work now? Ma? Are you just resuming work? Now? Oh, 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 yes, yes. Um, um, the king permits I go to, uh, I, I go home every Sunday and return uh, to, to work every Monday morning, ma. You have not answered my question. Oh, ma, I said I went home yesterday and the king is aware of it, ma. You have not still answered my question. Ma, which other question do you Are mean? you just resuming work now? Ma, I, I resume work at 8 a.m. and it's some minutes to, to 8, ma. Who gave you 8 a.m.? Ma? Who told you to be resuming work by 8 a.m.? It's Afo, Afo, Afonwa, ma. Afonwa? Me and Madio strike the both of you dead. Why? Are you mad? Ma? No. In Apuara? No, ma. You resume work here by 7 a.m., not 8 a.m. I'm sorry, ma. It, it won't happen again. Listen to me. Like, why would a young guy like you be doing at home throughout the weekend that would make you to be resuming work by this time. I said I won't, it won't happen again, ma. Do you want to lose your job? Ma, I said it won't happen again, ma. That's what I said, ma. I'm sorry, ma. And get out of my face. Ma? Get out of my face.
Obina, why are you eating that? The king will not be happy if he sees you eating that. Ah. Okay, thank you for telling me. You're welcome. But haven't you eaten today? That chef, she has not fed me since yesterday. What? Why? I don't know. You know what? Come in. Huh? I should open the door again. Come in. I should open the gate. I'm just coming from the security post and that boy said he has not eaten since yesterday. Why? I forgot. You forgot? Yes. I told that boy to always come here to collect his food. But he won't listen. Babe, I'm not his maid. You should come here. Just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. This is heartless. Why are you being mean to him? Okay, let me ask you. When Amobi was here, was it not you that always take, take, take his food to him? What now changed? Hamboob is an elderly man. Yes. At least I was doing it because of his age. But that boy, he's a small boy now. If you come here, I'm not his maid, though. I beg. Are you pushing not disturb me? This is not right. It is your job to take his food to him, not the other way around. That was exactly how the king structured this palace. And the almost lies on you to obey the king at all times. Hmm? But not that boy now. I would have to go and report you to the king. Okay. Oh. If he may be, please. Don't do that. The king might strike me. Please, I promise I won't do it again. Please. Look, if this repeats itself again, I will have to report you to the king. It won't. Just give the boy his food. Give him his food. I'm going there right now. Are you coming back now? That's not it. So, you are claiming to be very stubborn again? Ordinary to come to the kitchen. You won't. You expect me, your maid, to come and serve you here, Abby? I'm not stubborn, no. I'm not stubborn. Afunwa says I should never leave my duty post. If the queen or the king comes back and don't find me here, I'll be in trouble. I don't want any trouble from anybody. Hmm. You don't want trouble. Hmm. You see this palace? It's you and I. I will deal with you in such a way that you run out of this palace in shame. Take your food. Lazy get man. Thank you. My God is bigger than all of you. Kanjou, what is going on between Ifnanya and our new gate man? Osigene, please, my sister, what were you saying? <laughs> you should be the one to tell us if you had noticed anything. My dear, I don't know what I did to that girl. She has been disturbing me about that new gate man. Have you given him food? Nye, 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 nye. She won't let me rest! If she wants to do love, let her know you need to do love. Oh. Hmm. If she wants to practice love, 
let her not even practice love. Oh. Because if I lose it for her, my baji, my baji. You got you guess you want her for me. You guess you want her for me. <laughs> I said it. I said it. There's something going on between these both, both of them. I said it. See, maybe she was only fighting for his rights. You know, that boy looks humble and quiet. He doesn't like to talk. And you know, Chef Choma, she likes riding on people's weakness. Maybe that was what Ifunaya saw that made her start speaking up. You know, she doesn't like when people are intimidated unjustly. It's a lie. Oh. Yes. Ifunaya is so cheap. She's so cheap. Whenever she sees any fine boy around, that is her, her busy body. Will just, be, will just be controlling her. Controlling her. Eh? I wonder what that girl sees in that church rat. That, that dirty, that dirty gates man. Hey! What she saw? Uh -huh. Ah, you were the one that just said he's a fine boy. Uh -huh. And so, fine boy, no money. Fine boy, Coco OG. OG! Hey! Some girls are shameless. Hey, homie. Okay, baby. Okay, mm -hmm. we stood so low to date that church rat. I chinek with the wall. Off a big part. I cast them behind me. Adaku, I know my class. And I will remain in that class till I die. Mm -hmm. Yes! NK baby. You know. Adabu mm -hmm. nation. Him! Why don't I think of Adabu oh. nation? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Um, sorry. I, I... I wanted to say thank you for your kindness towards me in this palace. In fact, apart from my mother, you're also the reason why I haven't stopped walking here. You're welcome. Thank you. Wait, wait. Um, I, I don't know your name. Ifunaya. Ifunaya. Oh, that's a very beautiful name. My, my name is Ubina. Okay, Ubina. Thank you. I used to be very tall. Always sleeping on duty. Mr. Man! Get up and take your food. Mm -hmm. This is your night food. Mm -hmm. Take your food, do not home. Uh, thank you. Keep the test to yourself and do your work properly. Must you always sleep? But Auntie, the, the, the job is very. Shut up! What did you just call me? Did you just call me your auntie? Wait, too. Do I look like your auntie? Don't call me your auntie next time. Don't call me your auntie next time. Did you hear me? I was only trying to explain to you that the job is, the job is stressful. And I'm a peace-loving person. I'm not a troublemaker. And I don't want us to fight. Please. We can live together in harmony. I can be your brother. You can be my sister. We don't have to quarrel. Please. What? Right, so you just call me troublemaker. I didn't say you're a troublemaker. I only said we can live together in peace and harmony. Please. Please, keep the peace to yourself. 
and do your work properly. Must you always sleep? Ah! Nonsense. Hi. What have I even done to deserve all this hatred? I do not need to remind you about what you are here to do, about where you are, about what you are doing. You have your respective duties. I urge you to do your duties diligently. I urge you to recognize what you are supposed to be doing and do it. I urge you not to gallivant. This is the palace. And you must respect the palace. You must show loyalty to the palace and to your duty. They are all my children. Every one of you, at least by virtue of your being a member of this kingdom. I don't have many children. I have three, just three, biological children. My son who is not living with us, who is abroad, and my two daughters. So, you're all children of the palace. My son will be coming back maybe in about three months' time. Yes. And I want him to come into a palace where there is love. A palace where there is order. Not a palace of anarchy. Do I make myself clear? Yes, indeed. Does anybody have anything to say? Like, maybe uh, you have a challenge in your, your duty post. Yes. Igwe. May your days be longer than that of your fathers. Igwe. as the commander in charge of the security affairs of this great palace. Yeah. Igwe, I just have, um, I, I just need clarification in some of the areas of my job, sir. And listen. Igwe, um, Uncle Afonwa categorically told me that on no account must I leave my duty post, which is the entrance of this great palace, also known as the gate, sir. Yes. So I asked him, um, how do I get my food, sir? What is it? Quiet. Thank you, Your Highness. May I continue my... Go on! Yes, sir. Igwe, so I asked him, wouldn't I be needing, you know, my own time to have lunch, dinner, and my breakfast as someone who is working in, the great, in this great palace, sir? So he told me in confidence that I can have my breakfast and lunch at my duty post, sir. Mm -hmm. That the chef will always bring my food to me, sir. Yes. What about that? Do you have any problem with that? No, sir. So what are you complaining about? There's a problem, sir. What is the problem? 
So the, the, the chef does not like bringing my food to my duty post. So she told me that um, anytime I feel hungry, I, I should walk down to the kitchen myself to take my food. Y yes, sir. You mean leave your duty post? Yes, sir. sir sometimes I, I stay hungry for two days, three days, four days, sir. Sir, but, but, but the major problem is I have ulcer and the doctor said I must eat food. Go hungry in my palace? Y yes, sir. Very hungry, sir. Igwe. Will you speak before I break your neck? Igwe, Igwe, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. It did not happen exactly the way he said it. I, I know I've, I've failed to get his food once, but I apologize to him now. And since then, it has never happened again. Eh? Um, yes, now. Igwe, I'm so sorry. Igwe, Igwe, she, she, she also said that that, that she, she, she is, she's in charge of the palace, sir. That, she, that she's going to deal with me uh, and uh, everyone that supports me, sir. Igwe, Igwe. She said she, she will make my life miserable, sir. Uh, Igwe, it's not like I said that, though. I, I didn't say it. Quiet! You said all that. Uh, I, I didn't say all that, though. Well, I see that some of you take my leniency. Some of you take my kindness as a sign of weakness. You take it for granted. But I tell you, we are soon going to end that. You. 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 Be careful! You just entered the snake hole and the snake is not beating you. And this is a warning to all of you, especially you, the palace cook. If you like, correct yourself. And if you don't like, keep misbehaving. Pigwe, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Adam, that boy has no shame. Shame? Mm -mm. No one at all. Imagine food. Ordinary food. I mean, I mean, what is food? Huh? Hunger has made the boy forget his common sense. He doesn't have any sense again because of food. Eh, Adam? That boy forgot everything he's supposed to be in the city and came to the palace just to be a what? A, 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 a common gate man. Just because he wants to be eating food. Ordinary food, beg, beg. Food. And that food is the main reason he's here. The chef is trying to deny him of it. Food. And he's like, eh. They are not giving me food. Nah, that's ah. I did not see food to eat. What will I do? Igwe must hear this, my dear. Food! I mean, you don't do. Beg, beg. Uh -uh. Just do food. food. That longer. You see, people's judgment sometimes over certain issues just, just baffles me. Yes. Nkeche, Adako, let me ask both of you. Ever since you started working in this palace, has there ever been a time the chef denied both of you your food? No, answer me. So because the boy is a nobody, because he's, an, because he's a gate man, he should die. He should be dehumanized, right? It's such a shame that both of you are happy over this. Eh, hey, Ifunaya, shame to you. We know you, we know you like Obina. In short, you are even in love with Obina. Anytime you hear about Obina's matter, your body will be doing bazakwin, bazakwin. Shame on you! Don't you don't even her. call this one. Don't mind her. Solicitor and advocate. Food. Defense counsel, we've seen you. Food, uh, food couple. Uh, we are couple. Uh, food uh, couples, beggars. Two of them, beggars. Like food. <laughs> so this is how this boy plans to take away food from my mouth. 
and the mouth of my family members. He wants me to be sacked from this palace. For this very singular act of yours, I will make sure you lose your job in this palace. Is it not food? You will eat and eat, but you shall eat to your destruction. Yes, if anyone bites me on the head without minding my hair, when biting the person on the anus, I won't mind your excreta. Yes, Obina, or whatever you call yourself, the battle line has been drawn. My friend, open the gate! Sir? Look at this idiot. Look at this big fool. So you don't know me anymore? I, I don't know you, sir. I'm new here. Oh, open the gate! Sir, who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you here to see someone? <sighs> okay. I'm here to see the princess. Princess Hadeze. Princess? Did she give you an appointment? Oh, open the gate! Sir, did she give you an appointment? At this stupid woman. Open this gate! Sir, I am the chief security officer of this palace. Did she give you an appointment? Princess. I'm um, sorry. Are you expecting anyone? There's one small boy at the gate. He said he wants to see you. What's his name? I don't know, ma'am. You are a compound fool. Good for nothing idiots. That's what you are. Now, leave my sights. So let me ask his name. Get out! Let, let, let me ask him his name. I'll be right back. Can you imagine this fool? Look, can you just imagine? Hey, sir, what is your name? Oh my goodness, God. Are you insane? What is your name, sir? Are you mad? Sir, I am the chief security officer of this palace. I'm asking you, what is your name? Sir, what is your name? Excuse me. What is your name? Your name? What is your name? This is my job. You can't just walk into this place. Can I'm, you just open I'm this in gate? charge of this gate. What is your name, sir? Are you mad? What is your name, sir? You said that you're here to see the princess. Did she give an appointment? You say no. You're. What is your name? What is your name, sir? Okay, fine. <clears throat> My name is Chike. I am the princess husband to be. Chike. Now you know. Chike. Open the Chike gate. who? You're mad. Princess husband to be. Wait for me. Before I write Popo. Can you imagine? Hi. Chike, you've suffered. And what was that noise at the gate for? Huh? What was that noise? Oh, oh, oh. oh. The small boy, he said his name is Chikema. Oh my god. Huh? Obina, you left my fiance 
at the gate. So, and you dare dress him as a boy. No, I, 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 are you mad? Now, go and open the gates for him. I mean, I'll go and go and open the gates for him. Are you mad? I've already given him the beating of his lap. Please, just let me. Look at this idiot! What gods? He kept me out there waiting for so long. It's okay, okay? You know, he's new here. We just employed him. I'm sorry now. I'm so, so sorry, oh, sir. Don't, don't, don't talk! Just keep quiet! I was asking for his don't name. Don't talk! I said you should not talk! I was asking for his name. He, he refused to tell me your name. You want me to slap you again? Ma? No. Don't talk! Sorry now. Come to think of it, what about the other guy? The other gate man that does his work very well. Where is he? He's left. This person is not meant to be in this palace. I know, we just employed him newly, so we hope he improves. Okay? Just. You came to see your love, right? Don't let him spoil your mood. You're keeping me standing. It's okay, Can we go in? I don't know where they got that boy from. He just a dumb pass. <laughs> I couldn't hold my laughter. Me too. <laughs> they should just send that boy back to his mother. I'm tired. What kind of thing is this? Since he came here, it has been from one story to the mm -hmm. other. Huh? No, Adaku. They shouldn't send him back to his mother. Instead of, they should send him to the kitchen where he will stay with Jeff and be cooking. You know he likes to. If you see a Obina, I want to talk to you, only if it's okay. It's okay. Were you crying? No, no. I wasn't crying. Uh. If he... I'm tired. I feel frustrated. I didn't do anything wrong today. I was only doing my job. How can I allow a stranger into the palace without asking questions? I'll be putting the palace at risk if I do that. I, I didn't know he, he shared a personal relationship. With the, with the princess. They both wanted to kill me. What was my offense? Because I opened the gate. Or I did not open the gate. I'm just tired. Obina, you did nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, you did the right thing. Obina, you need to know that you are a man. And in a man pursue for his destiny, there, there will definitely be obstacles on the way. 
but it is left for that man to remain focused in order to achieve his goal. You have to remain focused to achieve success, Obina. You're right. Of course I'm right. Obina, I believe in you. Yes. I believe that you will not end up in the gates for the rest of your life. I believe that you're, you're only in this palace for, for a short period of time, you know, to raise money for yourself, to become a better person. I believe that you will make it in this life. But Ubina, you have to stay focused for all of these dreams of yours to, to come to pass. Okay? Thank you, Ifi. You know, you are a godsend. God sent you to me to guard me. I was thinking of quitting the job because I'm tired of the humiliation. They almost got me killed. The princess and her boyfriend. I was thinking of going back home to my mother because I'm tired of the way they treat me here. But now that you have spoken, I feel better. And I promise to stay focused, like you have said. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I really appreciate everything. It's nothing. Please, can, can I give you a hug? Yes. Don't, don't say no. Yes, why not? Did you see that? What? It was like a flash. I don't know. Did you see it? Maybe it wants to rain. Yeah, maybe. I have to go to my room now, okay? okay. Have a good night. Good night. Igwe. Igwe. You should recognize them now. They were kissing each other. Touching each other. They do that every midnight. This is serious. Igwe, very serious. And you need to do something. Yes. Obina. 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 Eche. Eche. The king wants to see you. Huh? I said the king wants to see you. The king wants to see me. Yes. I hope all is well. I hope so too. I hope the princess hasn't reported me to the king. Someone has committed a crime and is about to receive the king's hammer. Who knows who? We shall soon know. Let's go find out. It has come to my notice that some of you have turned, turned the sacred place. This venerated royal palace into a, a cesspit. Turned it into. 
to her brother. Turn my set, my 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 palace into into fragmented chalice. Do you know what a brother is? Do you know? What? Do, do you mean the palace is now a hotel? Are you normal? Yes, sir. Are you a nitwit? Yes, sir. Now keep quiet. Yes, sir. Dead fool. Sir, but it's hotel, sir. Literate. It's hotel. This is a holy place you've turned into a brother. Can somebody tell this neck wet to remain silent? Yes, sir. As I look at faces, I am looking at faces that are guilty. Faces brimming with guilt, filled with guilt. Turning my, 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 my sacred place into, into a place where base, useless, hopeless boys and girls, females and males indulge in in, 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 in sexual immorality. Are you having sex? Are you having sex? No. Are you having sex? Hey, shut up! Let me talk. So they said you're not having sex. I'm giving some five to ten seconds. Of grace. If you know you are guilty, if you know that you have done anything untoward in this my palace, something resembling what I have just described, you indicate. Indicate by raising your hand. Ten seconds. If Nanya and Obina. <laughs> Even the Bible that ever since I started walking in this palace, I have never had any reason to soil my womanhood. Never! Your, your Majesty, you, you, you know when I started walking here? I started walking here because I wanted to help my, my old mother in the village. Since I started walking here, things have been very, very difficult. And it gets, it gets worse every day. Ah, you, you, your Majesty, I'm still a virgin. I've never had sex before. Quiet! Quiet! Your body said, I, I'm just going to. I said, quiet! You! All of you! Go back to your duties. Go. Yes, sir. Shut Ibe. up! Stay here! Go! Ibe.
So I'm a virgin, no, I've never had sex before. Igwe wouldn't have called us all up if he didn't hear or notice anything suspicious. Exactly what I'm saying, Adako. But why was Ifunaya and that stupid useless boy called out? I already know there's something going on between those two. Yes! If you see the way that Ifunaya used to react whenever it any issue that concerns Obina, hmm, it is obvious she likes the boy or the boy likes her. I am sure both of them are already seen each other secretly. Yes. You're right. Mm -hmm. But something is not adding up. Yes. Something like what? I mean, the three of us share the same room. And we are almost always together. So? Yes, there is no way such a thing will be happening and we wouldn't notice. Look. I mean, I've never woken up a night and she's missing. So, so when were all those things happening? When? And I could forget what you're saying. A thief that wants to thief will not go to where he or she is being caught. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even husband and wife that live together in the house, do you see them having sex? Mm -mm. But with after nine months, you just see pregnancy comes out from anywhere. Forget that boy's crocodile tears. He's just deceiving us. Even if I has acting, hmm, she cannot deceive me. I know all those things. But if nothing happened, why would the king summon us? Something must have made him to call all of us and address us in that manner. I can swear for you, Funaya. She's too decent and womanly to involve herself with such a shameful act. She can't. So, why did the king summon us? I don't know. Maybe someone has come to tell lies about Ifunaya and that new boy. Yes. Who could that be? At least, I know two people in this palace that do not see eye to eye with that new boy. So, you never can tell. <laughs> and who could that be? You want to hear it from me? It will never happen. Let's go and finish what the queen asks us to do to avoid another summons. God. What have I done? What have I done to myself? <laughs> Why didn't I think well before acting? God, forgive you. Jeff, the king sends for you. Huh? Huh? I said the eagle wants to see you now. <laughs> I'm coming. Come with me now. Oh no. <laughs> Are you aware of the punishment that awaits any false accusation against any member of this royal family? Igwe, I have only reported what I saw. What did you see? Igwe, the picture. Apart from the picture, maybe apart from the night you referred to, have you ever seen them in any compromising position? Igwe, I have seen them talk together, stay together. In fact, Igwe, I've not seen them do any other thing. Igwe, a lot. But still, 
Igwe. Go back to your duty post. Igwe. I know somebody did this. I know somebody went to report to the king about me and that boy. What I don't understand is why so much hatred for this boy? What did he do to you people? Eh, what? If, Naya, if you know who you are addressing, you better call the person's name. Home. Stop speaking in riddles. You're disturbing me. Ha! Well, if you're waiting for me to call anybody's name, you will wait for eternity. Because I will do no such thing. The person knows herself and the person is close. If Naya, then stop making noise. As you don't want to call the name of the person, stop making noise. Let me have peace. Nkechi is right. It's only three of us in this particular room. It's obvious it's either you're suspecting Nkechi or you're suspecting me. But you're not bold enough to say it. And if you're not bold enough to say it, you better keep quiet because you're just making noise. I will not keep quiet. It is my mouth. I will speak whenever and however I want to. I will not keep quiet. As no one... <clears throat> Ifunaya, the king wants to see you now. <laughs> Come with me. Mm. You better go out there and defend yourself. Not to come here and be speaking riddles. You shall see me. No good to the king. Can you say with certainty that it is not true? Yes, Igwe. Yes. about this. And yes. Who is this? That 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 is that is us, but hey! Hey you we... hey, people are people are wicked! People are very wicked! Your Highness, people are very waiting for you to talk! Sorry, sorry Your Highness. On that very day, that boy Obina was badly humiliated. He was so humiliated, he was down. The princess had slapped him. Her boyfriend also kicked him. So he was crying. I only went there to encourage him and give him some words of advice. Because prior to my coming there, he had made up his mind to leave the palace. But after talking to him, he agreed to stay. That was what happened. To Highness. And the hog. The hog, the hog was after after I spoke to him kindly. Yes. He he requested for a hog, a honest, friendly hog, and I gave him. And we both noticed a flash, but we didn't know someone had taken a picture of us. But it was it was just a honest hog. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. You knew there was nothing going on, yet you lied against them for reasons best known to you. I'm sorry, my king. I saw them hugging and I thought they were doing something deep. Please forgive me, my king. But you lied to me that you had seen them at various points and in compromising positions. Several places apart from the night of the picture. It was only that night, my king. But was 
that what you told me before. Oh my lord. First, you keep him without food. Then you accuse him falsely. Who knows what you will do next? <laughs> I won't do another thing, my king. From today, I'll treat him nicely. In fact, I'll treat him like my blood brother. Please, forgive me. You're wicked. You're soulless. Go to your chamber. Pack your belongings. Leave this palace. You are fired this minute. Please, my king. I'm the breadwinner of my family. A lot of much paid from my salary. Please, my king, forgive me. I will do it again. I don't know why they hate that boy so much. Uh -huh. Yes. A young poor boy that came to the palace to work and better his life. They all just hate him so much. They humiliate and embarrass him at every given point in time. Mama, I am sure that I am the only one that goes to him with kind words. Else he would have left that palace a long time ago. Yeah. How come you nearly lost your job? Hmm. Mama only went to encourage him with kind words after I saw what the princess and her fiancé did to him that day. They almost killed him all. Only went to encourage him and you know, let him know that good things don't come his easily and that he should be patient. Yes. Eh? Hey. We finished having the conversation. Hmm. And then he was very happy and relieved and asked me for a hug. Sure. A honest hug, a very honest hug that I gave, and the next thing someone snapped us picture with camera phone. Huh? Yes, the king was so angry that he summoned all of us and told us that he, he had a report that some of us have been misbehaving in the palace at odd hours. Everybody has all. Telling you, Mama, but I thank God for the truth. I thank God that nobody can cover the truth. Uh -huh. When I was called upon, I said my truth and. That was all. <laughs> I guess when the king heard me out and saw the, how the poor boy was weeping and devastated, oh, wow. he just let us go. Hell. Who could have done this? Who took the picture and reported to the Igwe? I don't know. Hey! <laughs> all I know is that Everyone in that palace hates that boy so much. It could be anybody. How? <sighs> it is okay, my daughter. Huh? It is okay. Don't join them in hating that poor boy. That innocent poor boy. Always be a shoulder for him to lean on. Okay, it takes only one person to make the world a better place. Only them. Okay, Mama. Adele. I'll keep doing my best. How? Mama, that time we were not fun. Chai. How? To feel what? Mama, this past week was hell for me. I felt like quitting the job. Mama, it's too hard for one person. The job is too difficult. If you quit your job now, what will you resort to? You will come back home and be picking 
firewood and selling at the market on market days kobo kobo toro toro eh mo men di onu eh o te kwa na ko jidi njo de mma biko mama it's okay you don't have to plead with me I won't quit anymore. Thank you. Someone already gave me all the encouragement I need. So I decided to move on and there's no going back. Someone? Yes, Mama. Who is this someone? Mama, someone very kind. Someone full of wisdom, love and understanding. She's an angel in human form. Hmm. Who is the who is this angel? What is the angel's name? No, I don't worry, you meet her very soon. Hmm. What does she do in the palace? Mama, she works in the palace as one of the palace maidens, but a senior one. Interesting. She's a senior palace maid. Interesting. <laughs> Mom, I'm super excited, you know. Prince Ajuba of Ezani Kingdom will be visiting me today in the palace. I'm not getting something straight here. What are you not getting straight? What is going on? Okay. What is going on is that I will be hosting Prince Ajuba of Ezani Kingdom. You are free to call it Royal Visits. <laughs> so what is the excitement in his visit? You are asking? The excitement is that he's coming to see me, a prince, a royal prince. Coming to see you as what? Mom. Huh? Because I already know you've introduced Chike to your father as your fiance. So why are you so excited? Why are you so full of butterflies as though he is your lover? My mom, the last time I checked, I am not married to Chike or am I? Meaning? Meaning that I am super single, ready to mingle, until I tangle with my soulmate. Yes. <laughs> Mom, listen. Stop being dramatic. What is there not for you to understand? <laughs> Wake up to reality, okay? It's not like your days. As far as I'm not married to Chike, and I'm single, I am free to date other men till I say I do. Strange. Really strange. <laughs> Maybe to you, yes. But to me, no. You better wake up to 21st century realities. You should be happy oh, for don't, me. Don't touch me. Oh. Stop being dramatic. I've not done anything wrong, have I? You guys know you have to remove them. You have to find where to put them. Okay? That must not be good. And now look at these ones. Now guys, listen to me. I need everywhere to be properly swept. Okay? And thoroughly arranged. You get me? Yes, we have done all these things, things, I don't need them. Look at, look at all these things. You've done what? You've done more than all these things are here. What did you do? What did you do? When I get back to work. <sighs> Guys, when was the last time this glass is record? My princess, it's been long. Ago. Since the days of Amobi, the former gatekeeper. Oh, 
Go call the new great keeper for me. Yes, my princess. What? You guys better be kidding me because this is not happening. Like, what? So, this is it. Hmm? Hmm. You guys do absolutely nothing in this house. The only thing you know is to eat, eat, and eat. Nothing. You don't do anything. Hey, where is he? Where is he? Where is this boy? Get man! Get man! Get man! Don't you have respect? Eh? Is this how you greet your elders in your village? Don't you know I'm supposed to be your elder brother? Eh? Did the king not make it clear that my name is Obina? Okay. I'm not here to discuss with you. The princess sent me to come and call you. Okay, na akokwa. The princess. No, the prince. I can see you don't have manners. After all, I'm better than your sisters. Mm. Man, were you not told that part of your job includes you cutting these grasses as that went due? Were you not told? Ma? Don't mommy shit. You hear that? Were you not told that part of your job includes you cutting these grasses as that went due? I was told, I was told. And then what happened? I didn't know it was time. Oh, yes. You didn't, you didn't know it was time. I, I didn't know it was time. You didn't know it was time. Hmm? Now listen to me, you are a fool. Yes, ma'am. You are mad. Ye yes, ma'am. Your generation are fools. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you know it, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Now get busy. Ma Go get your tools and I need this place cleaned within the next 15 minutes. Consider it done. Now move. <laughs> Fool. Rats, what's fun? Wait, wait. Did I just hear any cri cri? No, what's funny? Now you both get busy. Get busy! Move it! Idiots. I need everywhere clean today within the next 15 minutes and I do not want to repeat myself for any reason in this house. Mad people everywhere. As for you, foolish dead man, remember to pack this firewood. I do not want to see them here again. Hush! I hate you! I hate you! Security man. Yes, Onye. Sorry. Dama. Um, so sorry, please. Where can I find a cutlass? I want to clear off the grasses. Where can you find a cutlass? Yes. You want to clear the grasses? Ah, you're very stupid. Huh? You are an idiot for asking me such a question. What have I done? What have you done? You ask me what you have done. So for how long you've been in this palace, you don't know where the weeding machine is. And you're asking me where you can you find the cutlass. I, I didn't know there was a weeding machine. 
I don't know where to find that. If, if, if I knew, I, I wouldn't ask you for now it. Now you have asked me. I don't know. Ah, look at this dirty gate man. Ask me where can he find the cutlass in this palace? Like he doesn't know. Oh, I don't know. If I knew where to find, I wouldn't be asking. Are you for real? Yes, I, 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 I don't know. It. Obina, what is it? I, I only asked for a cutlass. No, I don't know what to do. That is a weeding machine. Use it instead. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um, but uh, I don't know how to use it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Just bring it out. I'll teach you how to use it. Okay. Wait, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Um. Why do your friends hate me? They are not my friends. They're just my colleague. We happen to just be working here together. Look, you must know that in this world, nobody owes you any love and affection, okay? That's true, that's true. That's true. Bring the machine. Okay, thank you.
My friends, you're welcome. Hmm. My princess is looking truly like the princess she is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you. You are indeed the fairness of 10,000. <laughs> Your beauty shines more brightly oh my than God. the strength of the rising sun and the epitome of the morning dews. The effulgence of the glory of a million stars in a dark sky. <laughs> my praise. You know I'm very shy, right? Please, stop already. <laughs> Come on, your beauty is even more than what I'm even describing you with. Yes. Thank you for the compliments. You're most welcome, my princess. Can we go in now, please? Yes, but I must warn you about the security of your compound. The king, the queen, you and everyone in this place are vulnerable to danger and to evil men. What are you talking about, please, my lord? Your security man opened the gate without thoroughly investigating on whom was coming. And this is my first time of coming to this place. If I was a criminal, I would have gained entrance to this palace so easily. Oh my god, not again. That's okay, my love. Don't let him spoil your mood. You actually came to see me. You know he's new here, but notwithstanding, I promise you, I am going to deal with him for his uselessness. I promise you. Okay? Don't let him spoil your mood. Can we go in now? You know, the life of the king depends on, the, on his closest man. So they say. It behoves on him to choose wisely who he appoints to these sensitive offices. What is the problem? You look tensed. <clears throat> I actually made sure everything was perfect. You know, gosh, I didn't want him coming to this place and meeting some lapses. <laughs> but there is no lapses. That was what I thought, Mom. That was what I thought until he told me how carefree and careless that useless get man, the so-called security man is. Calm down. Tell Can you imagine? Exactly no, happened. No, Mom. Like, I wouldn't know where you and dad picked that fool from. You know? Can you imagine? He actually opened the gates for Prince Ajiba without trying to find out who he was first. You know, like he's a regular face here. You know, the young man is so shocked at his behavior. He could have been a kidnapper, an armed robber or something. And that was how he would have given them a free entrance to this palace without proper interrogation. And you know what that means for all of us in this palace. It's okay, but that shouldn't spoil your day. Mom, listen to me. It has already spoiled my day. It has. First impression matters a lot. I'm so embarrassed on, on... Oh, my God. You know what you do right now? Just go and make sure that he's happy for the rest of his stay in this palace. Mom, where and how did you guys employ that fool from? That boy is just a joy killer. He just ruined my day. It's okay. Mom, listen to me. Listen to me. I swear by the gods, I am going to skin him alive. I'll kill him. I swear... You know what? Attend to your visitor first. Go. I dare say. Every minute I spent here was worth it. Wow. Ah, I love everything. Mm. Most especially the atmosphere here. The serenity is amazing. Oh, wow. I'm pleased to hear that. Thank you so um, much. Before I forget, 
your cook is the best cook in the world. Oh, wow. Thank you. She will hear. Yes, um, well, I wish I will come back next time, but... Of course, my love. There is no but. You are going to come back again, again <laughs> and again. You can say it again. Okay, I will be on my way now. Okay. Um, Even though it doesn't feel like... Don't worry. Abina! Where is that Abina, open the gates! You see, this is your gate, man. This is your gate, man. You need to be replaced with another or be taught the job thoroughly. You see... Your life, your security is paramount to you and to the entire royal family. Yes. I know, my love. Like I said to you earlier, I will personally see to it. Very important. Yeah. Very important. So Open the gate, fool! So are you coming back? Alright, bye-bye. Bye-bye. He said he's coming back. Okay. Ma? Hoping now, whatever they call you, I came to find out from you if you were sent to this palace on a mission to always ruin my happiness. Were you? Huh? Oh. Are you mad? No, do I look like a joke to you? I, I don't understand. Do me. I look like a joke to you? No, no, no. No. Why would you open the gates to a total stranger without first trying to verify who he is? Why? But my princess, ye ye yesterday I I tried to verify your your boyfriend's name. You slapped me. Huh? Rina, you are a fool. Yes, ma. Repeat after me. Huh? Say you are a fool. You are a fool, ma. Who is a fool, Rina? You mad? I say you are senseless. And listen to me, thunder will fire you, you for always stressing my life. Thank you, God will destroy you, Obina. Obina, was that the reason I hit you up yesterday? Yes, man, you slapped me two times. Obina, how can you compare Chike that frequents this palace to Prince Ajuba who just came here today? How? Man, they look alike, man. Now you say they look alike. Yes. How? How? Oh! I'm tired of you. I don't even know what to do. I'm sorry, Mike. I hate you. Don't sorry me. Don't sorry me. I hate it. Don't. Okay, I what? hate you. Two half in the game, man. No, father. He ruined my day. What are you talking about? He didn't. The prince was very happy. No, mother. The prince complained bitterly about the boy's ineffectiveness. But you have taken the necessary steps. You have corrected and scolded him. Mother, it's not still enough. So what are you planning to do? I want the boy sacked. Oh, my beloved daughter. It is only the king that has such right in this palace. You don't. As the princess of this kingdom, I have such right to sack anybody that misbehaves here. You don't, my dear. No. No. You don't have such powers, my dear. Yes. It is for you to suggest. Suggest. Then, I will take the decision. I will decide whether to listen to what you have suggested or not to. As for the boy in question, the boy at the gate, I do not see any justifiable reason for his sack. So he remains. The boy is both uh, humble and obedient. 
and he takes corrections easily. Exactly. Mm -hmm. huh? Exactly. Good. This issue is closed. Darling, what do we call this? Nothing. And listen to me. You see, the reason you are still doing all these things, you still remain in this palace, is because my father, the king, seems to be adamant about your stupid behaviors. And my mother, too, seems to be on your side. Only God knows what you must have done to them. But listen to me. I have a very bad news for you. My brother, the prince, will soon return. And when he does, we shall find out whether you will remain in this palace or not. Whatever you must have been using up then. Be ready. Be ready! God is my witness. I have done nothing wrong to you. What? My darling. Hmm? If you see what happened today, the princess beat up that gate man today. She beat the gate man. Hey! Obina. Who else? That stupid dirty gate man. Yes, na. Obina. What happened? I don't know what happened today, but I heard it's about the princess's visit that the gate man almost ruined the princess day and she dealt with the gate man. She beat the gate man. You need to see. Isn't it better they just sack this boy mm -hmm. and employ someone that is competent for this job? Exactly my huh? point. That boy is most too much. Oh. Talk some other time. I'm not in the mood to talk to anyone. Please. Okay. Okay. But well, take it easy on yourself, okay? Okay. yourself. Listen to me. I will so deal with you in this palace to the point where you have no choice but to willingly pack your things, run and leave this job. It's a promise. But... Fool! What are you doing there? No, come back here now. Come and stay. Idiots. My princess, can I ask you something? What have I done to you? Have I done anything wrong to you? Yes. I hate you. Huh? I just simply hate your presence in this palace. Just like that. And you disgust me. Everything about you. If I can leave this job in place, else I will make you leave it in pieces. And I hope you don't want that. Just leave the job! You're not wanted here. It's very simple. 
My life is not tied to this palace. I'll just go back to my mother in the village. No, 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 I was talking to myself. I'll just go back to my mother in the village. My life is not tied here. After all, I even enjoyed the village more than this place. This is just too much for one man. What has he done to deserve such hatred and anger? This is just too much. I pray he gets out of this. I pray he doesn't lose hope on his newly found job. I just pray, but why is the princess so hard on him? Is there something they are not telling us? Something deeper than it appears on the surface? Yes. I must find out. So tell me, what exactly did you do this time? She sent for me and asked me why I did not cut the grass. So I told her I didn't know the grasses were due for, for trimming. She slapped me and told me to go and trim it. So I went to the backyard. I was trimming the grass when I heard a honk outside the gate. So I rushed to open the gate. But the mistake I made was not asking who the person was before I opened the gate. So the person came in. But before that time, we were already expecting an August visitor who came to see the princess. So she came and said, why didn't I ask for the person's name before allowing the person into the palace? But I, I, but I didn't do that because it was the same mistake I made the other time. She had a guest, and as the security person in this place, I went out to do my job, to carry out my duties, to ask for his name before letting him into the palace. When I did that, the princess and the boyfriend almost killed me, so I didn't want to repeat the same mistake. I allowed the, the second person inside without asking his name because I don't want trouble. She came and slapped me again and asked me why didn't I ask for his name before letting him into the palace. So, it, it, I'm just confused. When I do something, she wants me to do the opposite. Hey, can you imagine? I don't understand what is going on. I'm beginning to think she consciously does this thing to get me angry. Because if I do something now, if she asks me to do something, she still wants me to do it the other way around. And when I do it the other way around, she wants me to do it the opposite way. What do I do? I'm just tired. Uh, Obina, let me ask you. Have you had anything with the princess before now? Like, anything at all? Huh? Yes. How? I, I'm, uh, you know, have you had an encounter where maybe has she told you she likes you or giving you green light and you're not responding? I don't know. Accent. Are you by any chance saying the princess likes me? I don't know. I don't know now because How can the princess like me? Are you not a human being? Did you see? I just don't understand, okay? I don't understand why she picks up at you at every little thing. She just wants to, you know. She wants me to leave her father's house, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Obina, why did you come to this palace? Yes, why are you here? I came here to, 
to lift the financial burden on my my widowed mother. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's good. So, have you saved enough money for this purpose? I, I'm about to start, but she, she doesn't want me to, to work here anymore. Obina. Obina, the road to success is not easy. The road to success is not easy at all. Look, there will be bombs. Lots of them. But you have to remain focused. Because that is the only way you will achieve success. If you start letting all these little, little distractions on the way deviate your mind from your main goal, then you will not make it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand. Good. Be strong, okay? I'm going to bed now. Good night. Okay. Um. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it, all right? You're welcome. I, I, I would have given you a hug, but there are cameras everywhere. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Go to bed. Okay. Good night. I want you to meet this girl. She means everything to me. She's actually one of the reasons why I haven't quit the job. How do I meet her? Mama, she goes home every weekend. So I want to arrange with her so that both of you can meet next week. Where? Mama, here of course. I'm sure she won't hesitate to meet you. Apart from being a source of encouragement to you, are you two into any serious relationship? Mama, the truth is, I have not been able to express myself to her. But I think I love her. But sometimes I am afraid. I feel like she's too good to end up with a common palace gate man like me. Okay. Okay. Well, don't tell her anything yet, okay? Don't let her know how you feel. If both of you are meant for each other, things will fall into place naturally. No? Oh? <coughs> Mama, um, I'm ready to go. If you want wait. Please. Mama, Mama, please. I'm late. Eh? I don't want to start talking long, long, long talk. You know no. how you talk. The king will, will give me a query. No, my dear. I won't take your time. Oh? Hmm? Okay. What Ada, is it? My daughter, I forgot to ask you about that new boy at the palace. Hmm. How is he coping with his new job? Mama. Uh -huh. It's not been easy for that boy. Yo. Hi. It's not been easy for him at all. That boy has been going through a lot, sure. especially in the hands of the princess. I still don't understand why she hates him so much. Yeah, Mama. Mama, do you know that? Mm -hmm. The boy is so depressed to the point that he told me he wanted to quit the job. But after talking to him and advising him, he decided to stay back. Good. Mm -hmm. My daughter. I want to tell you something. Always be the reason someone else is happy. Be his companion over there. Eh? A shoulder for him to rest on in times of this distress. Eh? Good. On no account will you join the people at the palace to despise him. For anything you do to make someone happy, 
nature doesn't forget it easily. Hmm? Okay, Mama. Just be strong. Oh? Okay, Mama. Make him happy. Oh, no. Oh, Bye, bye, Ada. Oh, bye. Hey. Now, what is happening to this man? Hmm? Hmm. It's like I'm going to call more money. I'm going to get more money on it. Hey. Okay. Enke, you must not be that rude. If you don't want to help the boy, just tell him. You mustn't insult him. If you lie, please, I don't have time for that rubbish. I don't have time. If you have come here to discuss about boyfriend and girlfriend issue with me, because me inke baby, I don't want to take part of that. Please don't put me. Oh. I take God and beg you, leave me. Boyfriend, girlfriend, Ndago. Yeah. What's the hate for? Hmm? Why do you hate this boy so much? What has he done to you, Enke? Look, that boy could be your brother tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. God forbid, he can never be my brother. A dirty git man, be my brother. Don't in your life compare that gay man with my brother. My brother cannot stoop so low to just be a gay man. Never. My, see, in your life, don't dare. Don't dare compare your stupid boyfriend with my brother. Please. Please, don't speak to me that way. Don't start insulting me too. You want to deny it. You want to deny it as you denied it in front of Igwe the last time. Hey, Funaya. You want to deny it. Leave that thing. We they see you. All this crook K movement they do for night for Naya. We they see you. We just they keep you quiet. We they see you. No. <laughs> they think we are blind. Oh. We are fools. Mm. Uh, my sister, we are not blind though. And we are not fools. I am just disappointed in both of you. <laughs> Sincerely. Hey. We are so disappointed in you for being so cheap and stupid. You're being so cheap. You, you, you fell for the wrongest person. A poor gates man. Oh. Come on, gates man. Do you know what? I will just leave both of you. Excuse mm. me. Ah, you're leaving. Remember, no. If you now come back, come and fight me. Come and exchange words with me. You think you know how to talk? Useless thing. Mm. Cheap yeah. Hey. Yes. You too much. Ah. Yeah. Obina. <laughs> 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 Ma? I, I, I was I, at the back, I was weeding the flowers, I was cutting the grass, they, 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 they are grown. Is that why you left the gate? I, I, I didn't leave the gate open, ma. Did you just say you didn't leave the gate? No, no, no. What I meant was I, I, I can see the gate from the back and I can hear the... the, the, the... Hear yourself. Ma? You can see the gate from the back. No, no I'm sorry, ma'am. Why did you leave the gate? Sorry, I, I didn't leave the gate, ma'am. I, I said I was... Idiots. <laughs> How many times will I warn you never to use those words on me? I hate them as much as I hate you! I, I'm sorry, I hate you! I'm sorry, ma'am. Don't, don't tell me that again. Listen to me. I'm going out now and you're going to open this gate and close it. Once you close it, you are going to come back here and kneel down under the sun. You are not going to stand up until I am done with whatever it is I am going out there to do. Listen to me. If you ever stand up without my permission, I am going to make you see the darker side of me. I'm on my duty. Don't despise me. I'm doing my job just to end living. Cause I know a zero 
them was not fear Just a day mm-hmm. Remember say Patient though It the fattest boy oh. All the good things that you see Never come easy What is it? Why, why are you kneeling down? The princess asked me to kneel down. Why? Because I was reading the grass. She, she asked me to read the grass. Then she honked. I think she was on her way out. I, I delayed to open the gate and she asked me to kneel down. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, this is bad now. This, this is wickedness. This is inhuman. Majesty, I am not supposed to bother you with this particular issue. What issue are you talking about? Your Majesty, please. I don't want it to look as if I am interfering in the princess's life. What are you saying? Your Majesty, I am not supposed to be telling you this, but necessity has constrained me to saving a suffering soul. Listen. If you're not ready to end this game of suspense and hit the nail on the head, I will be left with no other option than to walk you out of my presence I'm now. Sorry, Your Majesty, I'm very sorry. It's just that I don't know why the princess hates that boy, Obina, so much. Has she done any other thing to that boy apart from the previous ones? Yes, Your Majesty. What? You won't believe that that boy has been kneeling down under the sun for the past three hours. What? For how long have you been kneeling down here? Since morning, the, the, the princess left the palace. What was your offense? Ma? I said, what offense did you commit? I, I, I was at the back weeding the flowers, and the driver honked twice. I was rushing to open the gate, and she asked me to to kneel down here until she comes back. Get up. Huh? I said, get up now. She, she said, she, 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 she said I, I, I should be here until she comes back. Well, I said, get up and go straight to your duty post. Now. I, I, I should... You heard me very well, right? Go back to your duty post. Thank you, Your Highness. Yeah. 
my sister, you won't believe what happened. What happened? I don't know what Ifunanya told the queen that made her release her boyfriend from the punishment the princess gave him. Are you, are you serious? The queen came out and told the boy to go into his room. And it was after Ifunanya went to the queen's chamber that she ran out in anger, according to what I heard. Uh -huh. So Ifunanya is now interfering in the princess business. It's obvious she wants to go home. I don't know the right she has to discuss the princess with the queen. Hmm? You're not even sure what you're saying. Look, I cannot say what I don't know. Do. I am very sure that was what happened. Eh? See Funaya. Busy body Funaya. <laughs> oh, she see fine boy now. Which fine boy? Which one be fine boy? That gets man. That dirty looking idiot. Fine boy. My sister. He didn't dash me that boy. I no go take. Mm. Eh, eh. If they even say I should choose either going into the jail for 10 years or manage the boy for one night. My sister, I go prefer to go jail. Poverty you know the manage. I know they manage. <laughs> manage from which which boy? I beg you. Which Are boy? you sure? I know they manage. Oh. As I did like this, I like money. Get smart. <laughs> You need to buy this. You are good. You don't like us in this bike. Fine, go. Oh, what? Stephen, eh? Ah, she bought me it. Fine, do not kill me. She make it. I'm doing my work. Did you by any means disobey my orders? You're welcome, my princess. You have not answered my question. I gave you a punishment. Who asked you to stand up? Your mother, the queen, asked me to stand up. What? My mother, the queen, asked you to stand up. Yes. What did you tell her? I, I told her you, you give me a punishment. You, you asked me to kneel down and remain there until you return. But she asked me to go, go to my duty post. I see. You've really grown some wings. You now go reporting me to my mother, right? Yeah, I didn't report to you. You! I, you! She, she came out. You! 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 Don't worry, let me see my mother. I'll be right back. For God's sake, mother, this is totally unacceptable. There is no reason on earth to justify your actions, and you know it. I am your mother. And it is my sole responsibility to lead you back to track whenever you are going astray. I am going astray, you said. I am going astray by trying to, to correct a common palace security. My beloved daughter, you don't just wake up and start punishing people for no just reason. You punish people when they do something wrong. So you are saying right now that he did not do anything wrong and I'm punishing him. So tell me, what did he do? He left his primary post unattended to and he deserves a punishment. Serious one at that. That can only be done when you find out he was doing nothing. But he was doing something you and I know it was part of his job. You don't expect him to divide himself. He can only be found in one place at a time. 
Mother, was that why you had to humiliate me before those who should tremble at the sound of my voice? Oh, come off that, my daughter. Even your father, the king, can never be a traitor and a tyrant of that magnitude. Never! I can see you. You are supporting him. Yes, you are supporting him. Okay, that's fine. But I want to tell you something. I will never ever tolerate that in this palace. Either that boy leaves or I leave for him. Let me tell you one thing, my beloved daughter. He is going nowhere until he does something that warrants his dismissal from this palace. Out. Nowhere. Read really? my lips. I said so. Then watch me leave. Watch me leave. What nonsense. Princess, I have an important information to give to you. And I do hope it has to do with the issue on my mind. Yes, my princess. Spill it. What? Yes, my princess. Are you sure about this? Yes, my princess. Very sure. <sighs> Fine. Leave my sight. Thank you, my princess. Father, you sent for me. What's this I hear about your threatening to leave the palace? It was never a threat, but a promise. Well, why did you go on and make such a hasty promise? Because my position as the princess of this kingdom, I mean, the first daughter of King Dike the Third of the Ochaziasa kingdom has been hugely compromised. My respect and dignity has been reduced to nothing. Absolute nothing. My personality now means zero before those commoners in this palace that are meant to be respecting me as their princess and I vowed never to take that. I was not raised to be disrespected and dishonored. I was raised to be highly esteemed because I am royalty and I know who I am. My dear, no one is trying to discredit you before the commoners. Least of all, the mother. She's not made, trying to make you appear lesser before the commoners. No. A thousand times, no. So, Father, what do you now call these shameful acts? Directions. The reason an elder is needed around 
is so that children will not mistake a vulture for a kite, my dear girl. The path you are towing right now is dangerous. That's why your mother has come in to redirect you, to correct you. You are subjecting the commoners, I mean the lesser people, to suffering and hardship. And I tell you, our gods frown madly at it. That's why your mother has come in to redirect you. Well, Father, it's obvious you've taken sides with Mother. Mm -hmm. Both of you have concluded that the punishments were unjust, right? Princess. 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 I have not called you in here to start banding words about who is right and who is wrong. No. I've given you my peace of mind. So, you may go. She was never like this. I just wonder what brought about her sudden change of attitude. Peer influence, I guess. Why did you tell the Queen? What do you mean, why did I tell the Queen? Yes. I mean, what if she misunderstood you? And you know you can't possibly interfere in anything that concerns the princess. It might turn out jet dangerous. You're right. But I couldn't just stand there and do nothing. Just watch you go through pain. Ify. Sometimes I lay down in my room. Thinking about my life and how I found myself in this palace. It's been hell for me. I think about how everyone hates me. No one likes me. They humiliate me. They treat me so bad. They treat me like a common criminal. Each time I think about my life, I'm always very depressed. But I also think about how you come close to me and tell me the right things I'm supposed to do. And each time you say those words to me, I feel good with myself. I feel very happy. And the truth is, Sometimes, I have these strong feelings for you. I know I am not supposed to say this because of my, my status as a common palace gate man. I, I, I know I shouldn't say these things to you because I don't have the right to do that. But honestly, even a commoner outside this palace would feel the same way I'm feeling right now. Rubina, I don't discriminate. I value every human being because every life matters. I admire you a lot. Yes, I've always admired you from the very first day you stepped your feet in this palace. But I can't be with you, not because you're a gate man, no. It's because that is not why we are here. We can't encourage such feeling because it will only lead to distractions. 
distraction that will take our mind out of the main reason we are here, which is work and also to get paid at the end of the month. You're right, Ife. And you have great wisdom. I am flattered. Don't be. It's the truth. You're very wise. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to go to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Very cheap game. I wonder what she has been doing with that boy inside his room. That game. Maybe no sense. Okunaga wara wara. Gini ne me ya. Aya ne le zam zam na fe ya. Oda aga. Na aga bu owe ya. This is my friend. Who is that? It's me. You, Echezema. If I am. Yes. The princess wants to see you now. She demands I come with you immediately. Is there any problem? I'm sure you don't expect me to give you an answer to that question. Okay, but can I at least brush my teeth? Can I swear take your bed? You can't appear before the princess on camp. I'll be waiting for you. Princess, yes she is. Greetings, my princess. My leave. Thank you, my princess. You, you, you slimy bastard! You went to go lie to my mother. No, you made my mother release someone I gave punishment to. You wanted to bring trouble between my mother and I, right? No, 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 no. You tell me, are you here on a mission? No, 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 my princess. No, far, far from it. I, I, I. I you I, what? Stop stammering and I, start talking. I went to tell the queen when I saw the boy kneeling down for a very long time. I felt bad because he didn't deserve that punishment, my princess. How dare you? No, how dare you stand before me and tell me that that boy did not deserve that punishment? How dare you? Are you his mother? And that, my princess, that is not what I mean. That, that's, I, that's not what I mean. Now make it make sense. I heard he's your boyfriend, right? What? No! No, 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 nothing, no, nothing like that. So I, I don't I don't have any any sexual attachment with that boy at all. He he's only fond of me. He's only fond of me because I'm the only one that goes to console him whenever he's down. I'm the only one that talks to him. That's all. Did I hear you say the boy is just fond of you? In a good way. In a very good way, my princess. <gasps> He's fond of her. Okay. I have just confirmed this. Disappear from my sight now. Okay. Uh, Wait now! Okay, sorry. Hey. 
you don't know the power of love. Mm. The girlfriend will not lose her job because of the love she has for her poor boyfriend. Aww. And both of them will get married and live together in poverty and humiliation. Mm. And every night, they will be drinking gare in the morning, in the night, mm. and in the day. And they will give birth to poverty stricken children. And Aww. every all that thing will be what? Overtized. Hey. Does it mean that the princess will tell his father to sack me from the palace? But what wrong did I commit? Should I have seen Ubina go through such wickedness and do nothing about it? No way. If they sack me for doing what I did, well, there is nothing to regret about it. God will provide a better job for me. We were, we were the members of your cabinet and the elders. We have used our ancient eyes of design and matter to see that things are not moving the way it should in this royal house. And then we have decided to come to inquire from you. Hmm, this is riddles. You are speaking in riddles. Anyway, this is 30 years that your wife gave you a son before the coming of your daughter. We only met your son when he was but a baby. All we hear is he lives somewhere under the sun. He lives there. So, we want to know everything about him. Elders, my son is in school. He is studying abroad. Hmm? However, we have plans to bring him home before long so that he takes a wife. Igwe, now you are talking. How soon is that you are talking about? Well, very soon, I must tell you. Igwe, please, can you give us a specific date? My son will be home before the end of this month. Mm. <laughs> Our mind and heart are now at rest. Yes. I hate you. What the go? Honestly speaking, our meeting today was a successful one. Yes, it is. Mm. And you know, our king is not even any younger. Yes, you are very correct. Mm. These days, people dies anyhow. Both the young and the old. Ha, Ichi, mm. none of us could even know who the crown prince is and how it looks like. No, 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 no. It is not good to the ear at all. Okay. We should know who our next king is. Mm -hmm. eh? mama. If our king, if anything happens to him, who will succeed him will not be a problem. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing not tomorrow now. Someone will just come from nowhere and say, I am the crown priest. <laughs> Somebody will not even know. Somebody will have not seen anywhere before. I don't know. <laughs> Ichi, I'm very happy how things went today. At least one month is not too far Mbano. for you to know who that crown prince is. Bam. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> well, 
We will know. We are all going to be alive to see that day. I cannot. Obina, I have a feeling that they're going to sack me from this job soon. If you're scaring me with those words. Look, I don't want you to be scared. On the contrary, I need you to be strong. Look, Obina. No matter what happens, even if I get to leave this palace, I want you to promise me that you will stay in this job. Promise me that you will never leave here no matter how bad they treat you. If you're going nowhere. Bina, Bina, I know my instinct. My instinct has never failed me before. Each time I start feeling this way, something happens. Tell me, how exactly are you feeling? Okay. The other day, the princess called me out very early in the morning. She scolded and yelled at me badly. I believe Nkiro or, or Adaku must have reported to her that I, I was the one that told the queen about the punishment she gave you. She threatened my job here. And ever since then, I, I've been troubled. I've been so troubled in my spirit. It's okay. Nothing is going to happen. Okay? God is not going to allow anything to happen because of how good you have been to me. Bina, I want you to know that no matter what happens, I don't regret everything I've done for you. I don't regret it one bit. I did it for humanity. I did it for love. Okay. I understand how you feel, but I believe nothing will happen, okay? And I want you to know that I love you. I love you too. You do? My son will be coming back to this palace, to this kingdom, in less than a few weeks. That's the good news I want to share with us. What it means is that we all must keep this place neat and tidy. Beyond that, we have to also remember that we have to keep ourselves. Personal hygiene is important now. Keep ourselves clean, both inside and outside. Let the prince come into a palace that is clean, a palace that is orderly. A palace that is friendly and warm. Do I make myself clear? Yes, you do. Good. The prince is coming home to pick a wife. For the boys. Your cooperation is needed. You know. Yes. Be at your best. And for the girls. Be clean and friendly. Hmm? I want to give you a secret. I want my son to marry from a poor family. It means that even the chef here can be the lucky one, become the princess. Same goes for all of you. All of you. Any one of you could become the future queen of this kingdom. So, 
destiny is here with you. Seize it. Yes. But I don't want any boundary. I don't want you to start flouting yourselves. No. Flout your heart instead of yourselves. Your inner self is what's needed. Do I make myself clear? Yes, you do. Wait. You actually think hmm, that the crown prince of this kingdom that has lived all his life abroad will condescend so low as to marry a palace maid? Ah, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. No. Adam. In my early days as a maiden, one day I was going to inquire something from the queen. And I heard the queen and the king discussing something like that. And I was like, whoa, this royalty is different from other people. How can the king and the queen be wanting something like that for their only son? I don't know. But if you come to look at it, it's only three of us that are presentable here. Mm -hmm. You, Ifunanya, and myself. Um, the chef is too big to marry the prince. And the other maids are too young. So who do you think the prince will likely choose when he comes back? I think... Um, if Nanya stands a better chance, yes, you know, for she's homely, she's down to earth. I mean, she has better qualities than us. That one is for that. Uh -huh. I know she will not be in the palace when the prince comes back. <laughs> what do you mean? I know what I told the princess about it for Nanya Darko. And I know the princess will never spare for Nanya. How sure are you? I am very sure. I bet my life to it. I know. Nikechi, I know what I am saying, Adako. Mm. Oh. Let's wait and see. Waiting. I'm on my duty. Don't despise me. I'm doing my job. Just to end up living Cause I know The syrup was not you She decided to ignore my call because she wanted to be with Ma? You are a fool no. So you didn't hear I was calling you? No, 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 ma. No, no, nobody told me You are me. a pathetic liar! No, nobody told me where No, we are told I was calling you That's, that's not but true You chose to ignore me because of this food Ma, ma that's not true, ma Is this food running away? Or is this food more important than me? Ma, 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 the, the, nobody, nobody told me you were calling me. No, 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 ma. How can I hear you calling me? I won't come I to answer you. You are still dead. No, 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 no. I look like a joke to you now. Now listen to me. Because of this nonsense you just did right now, I am going straight away to instruct the chef not to give you food again in this house. No more food for you in this palace for the next three days and two nights. And if she just fought my order, I will get her sacked. Well, ma, and I that's told you, I told you, I, I told you. I am still talking, you are, you are there ch chatting nonsense. I, I, I look like your sister. No, I look like your, 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 your family members and you are mad. Nobody told me she was calling me. It's okay. How can I be called by the princess and I won't go to answer her? How? It's okay. I believe you. But just get out of 
get up and clean, clean your why, why, why is she treating me like this? What have I done wrong? What have I done? It's okay. It's, it's okay. Don't, don't cry. Eh? It's going to be fine. Trust me. Everything will be fine. Just get up and clean up the place. I'll give you my food later. God, what have I done? Why are these people treating me like this? What have I done? Huh? the boy knows is food. Since he came to this palace, is food, food, food. The first time he came into this palace was asking about food. Just food. But I wonder, how will someone hear that the princess is calling him and sits back just because of ordinary food? How? You have seen it now. Because he prefers the food to his job. Give him food and take back the job. That is his problem. Food! Well, it's true. <laughs> Otherwise, tell me, Adako, what will a young boy be doing as a gates man? Ordinary gates man? Eh? What? You should just see the way he has been yawning since morning. You know, he hasn't eaten since yesterday. That is why the princess told the chair to deprive him of food. For two days. Oh. Still, the sense he still doesn't have. He still asks enough food. Food! Oh. Hey! Common food! Ordinary food. Ordinary food! Oh. Hey! Oh. I'm suffering because of the man, my sweet mama. My joy at home. I'm suffering because of my love. My sweet mama. My joy at home. I'm suffering because of my love. My sweet mama. My joy at home. No champion, no trials, no testimony. No. Just be focused. Don't mind the circumstances. They are to pull you down. Be focused. Don't mind distractions. Let it. Love everybody. In the world. Love everybody. And when you love, love everybody. In the 
What could I have done without you? It's okay. I don't know why the princess hates you so much. Oh, please, I want you to remain focused in this job. No matter what they do to you, stay focused because I believe that one day you'll get tired. Okay? It's okay. I, I, I was thinking of quitting, but I'll, I'll stay back and see to the end. Hmm? That's my boy. Thank you. Okay. Um, I have to go now. You have to be very careful. I will. Okay? Don't worry, I will. I promise. <laughs> No, clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. I clap for yourself. Start clapping for yourself. Don't make noise. As you can see, the whole palace is quiet. Everyone is fast asleep. Except a tiny snake like you. Meandering around. Trying to act a good, a good woman, right? No, no, no. You want to be a good woman? No, I'll be you a good one. Okay. Quietly. Go to your room. Uh, my princess. No problem. I'll call my sides. Thank you, my princess. Don't Thank worry. you. By tomorrow Thank morning, you. we shall see. Huh? <laughs> we shall see. For the last time, why did you go into that boy's room at that time of the night? Your Majesty, Your Majesty, I swear, I only went into his room to give him food. Because the poor boy has been yawning since yesterday due to starvation. A punishment the princess here gave him. You don't have the audacity. To say this rubbish before my presence. How dare you? No, Ifunaya, how dare you interfere in my actions in this palace? Who are you? Who is your father? Does your son name ring a bell? No, does your father's company lead to anywhere? How dare you? I ask again. Listen, you did this the first time I let it slide. You're repeating it again. You, this girl. You! Father, you can see. You can see. This girl must be punished. Ifunanya. You had no reason whatsoever to go into that boy's room at that unholy hour. Your Highness, I only went there to give him food. That is all. Just to give him food. 
Did you hear that? She only went there to give him food, knowing the boy was under my punishment. How dare you? You knew he was serving my punishment. You still went ahead to give him food as his mother or what? I'm asking you! No excuse is acceptable and no reason justifiable for a young girl to sneak into a young boy's room in the middle of the night. Go to your room, pack your things and leave this palace immediately. Two months compensation. Thank you. The Igwe ordered you leave the palace immediately. I'm already leaving. At once. Hey, yeah. Um, oh. Everything that has a beginning at that has go. an end, my sister. Try. I wonder what her stupid boyfriend will do in Nasha's left the palace. Maybe he will join her. Try. Mm -hmm. You know now, like Romy and Juliet. What the quam man? Hi. If you know you. Oh. 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 Hi. Are you traveling? I've been fired. What? No, no. I am leaving the palace now. I wonder what I will tell my mother. Huh? Wait. They, they sent you away because of what happened last night? I know now. this how can they send you away because of me you know what i'm quitting this job no 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 i don't regret everything i've done for you i don't never i don't regret it but i can't continue doing this job without you eh you're one of the reasons why i'm still doing this job i would have left a long time ago pina please please don't quit this job if you quit this job that means all my efforts will be in vain Bina, promise me you will not quit this job, please. But if I will not see you again now. We will see each other. Uh, we have the weekends to see each other. Just, just promise me. Promise me you would, you would stay. It's not easy like that. It's not easy. I'll just promise me, please. I promise. I promise. I have to go before they see us and to be more trouble. Obina, I love you. Huh? Stick here. Hi. 
What is it? Why are you home? But this is not weekend yet. And your bag? Huh? Mama, they've sucked me. Hey! No! This is not happening. May it has happened already. Oh it has happened. God. It's okay. Stop crying. Hi. My daughter, wipe away your tears, please. Stop crying. This is not the end of the road. Huh? When this door closes, another one will open. I'm serving the living God. Come and sit down. Sit down and tell me. Sit. Lorana, Lorana, Lorana. Wipe your tears away. Eh? Oh, what did you make him become an effect? Ha! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hmm? Mama, <sighs> I know that there is no way Obina will hear the princess is calling him and ignore her. Yes. I know that they must have lied to her. Oh. Then considering how much she hates him, she didn't even allow him explain at all. Try! Mama, if she had only poured the food on him, it would have been fair. But she went on to punish him with two days starvation. Two whole days, Mama. That boy was practically going to die of hunger. The second day, I couldn't hold myself. I had to find a way to give him food. Good. Yes. My daughter, you did the right thing. Eh? What you did was right. The God I serve will be happy with you for what you did. Uh -huh. Having heard the story behind your sack, I am no more angry. Huh? I am no more angry at all. My daughter, Mama. you are a champion and my God will surely pay you. Amen. Oh, Amen. It's okay. Cheer up. Mama, oh, I am not even angry again mm -hmm. myself too. Mm -hmm. If I was given a second chance, I would do the same thing for Obina all over again. Over and over again. Hmm? Over and over again. So, share up. And then, mm -hmm. oh yeah, go and keep your bag inside. Oh. Keep it, come and eat something. Now, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because they are rich, they no longer care for the poor. They treat the poor like a piece of trash. Hi! Who be no one? How? Adako, I told you the princess will spare her. She must leave this palace. I told you. Huh. You don't defame me, you. I swear, this one shocked me. My friend, I saw you go there here, it will shock you. The prince go marry me, come out here. <laughs> My marriage will fuck me, the prince go shock you, you don't go know. Mm. I don't understand. Look, you're speaking to me in riddles. I'm your friend. Wait, does it mean that the princess is also arranging you for her brother? Add. You know, Enki, I am an achiever. Whatever I want, I get. Whatever my eyes set on, I get. My darling, the only thing now is that the Prince is going to be my so so. Hey! hey. My friend, tell me! You told me now. Why are you doing me like this? See, I'm your friend, though. Hey. There's something you're not telling me. What do I tell you again? There's nothing to tell you. The only thing I'm going to tell you now is that very soon, as soon as the prince steps his foot on this land, me and K Baby is going to be the next queen. Hey! Come on, shock me! Are you serious? Make it a shock. Hey. Babe, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. You're shocking bad. 
<laughs> but come to think of it, if Nanya is a way behaved girl, she's more reserved than that Nkechi and Adako. Yes, but her secret affairs with that new boy cost her the job of her dream. It is not worth it at all. <laughs> you mean she was guilty of all the allegations before Uncle? I thought she was only trying to be of help and support that boy since almost everybody in this palace hates him. What kind of support will make a lady sneak out of her room into a boy's room at midnight? Huh? She did that. Eh, hey, nah. That was why she was sent packing. The princess caught her red-handed. But I prefer her to Nkechi and her dad. Both girls are white and arrogant. But she's decent. Forget decent, you. No decent girl will sneak out of her room into a boy's room while others are sleeping at midnight. Mm, maybe she's in love then. Love my food. <laughs> My princess, please, when is the prince coming back home? Hmm. Gechi? My princess. <laughs> I know you would love my brother to marry you, right? Yes, my princess. My father would actually want him to marry a medium from this palace. I'll be very happy if you help me talk to your brother to get married to me. So, safe to say you're indirectly begging me to speak to my brother to choose you as his wife, right? My princess, I'll be very indebted to you if this happens. <laughs> and you know you're my girl. Don't worry, I'll definitely speak to him about you. Thank you, my princess. Well, um, I just hope he likes you too when he finally gets to meet you. I'm sure you will like me. My princess, am I not good looking? Of course you are. Thank you. Go to my room and get my laptop. It's on the table, please. What exactly do you want to do? <laughs> Wise woman. I am a maiden in the palace. I serve in the palace. The Igwe has given us a hint that the crown prince will soon be back. And he's likely to choose a wife from any of us. So I have come to you for you to give him a chance that whenever he sets his eyes on me, he will fall in love with me. And I promise you, I will forever be grateful to you and your Ure. Wise one. You came to the right place. There is nothing the great Ufri cannot do. But do you have his picture or any of his belongings? No, wise one. But I can get one for you. I will try my best. I will give you the charm when you come back. If you're coming, come with the picture because for the charm to work, there must be a point of contact. Okay, in that case, I will go and come back next week Sunday with the picture. Why next week Sunday? Why is wrong? As I said before, I'm a maiden and that's the only day I live to see my people. Hmm. Okay, I will be waiting. Thank you, Aizu. Nkechi. My presence. Wait, what, what were you thinking? Nothing. I was just going to get a laptop.
What is going on here? Uh, my princess, I was looking for the iPad you sent me to look for. What did you say you were doing again? I was looking for the laptop, my princess. Looking for my laptop. What is this on the table? My princess, I, 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 I didn't see it there. I, I didn't know you kept it there. I was looking for it everywhere. I'm sorry, my princess. I'm so sorry. I'll be on my duty post, my princess. Are you still awake by this time of the night? Mama, is it that late? <laughs> What's wrong? Is it that late? Ifunanya, I hope you are not thinking about your work. No, Mama. I wasn't thinking about my job. I was thinking about Obina. My daughter, you should stop worrying about him. Oh, he's God. We surely see him through. Hmm? Ndipa ayese kwa na efi nengu rodudu. Na chia, na churi ijiji. Oh? Pico, it is late already. Stand up. Let's go inside. Which is Bonozo, oh? The God he serve, we surely see him through. Oh, ma? How? I have to go before they see us and to be more trouble. Obina, I love you. Huh? Take care. Hi. Oh. Oh, 
say, Madam, fine girl, in case they miss your cooking, give me money. No, stop. I started laughing now. Eh? <laughs> Why did you ask? Why would I ask? Me. Mm. Huh. I like you money. Mm. I said, okay, okay, give me money, give me money. No, how can I give you money? Hmm. I said, mm. you don't want to give me money. I just have to. <laughs> you were like that. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like so I just stop. Mm. I just have to keep quiet. Mm. Hmm. We won't have more of that. You, Good afternoon. Good uh -huh. afternoon. Good afternoon. What is it? Uh, please, eh? Don't be offended. Can I get Ifunaya's number from any of you? <laughs> I, I forgot to collect it before she, she left. Hey! <coughs> you forgot to collect the number before she left? Yes. Hey! Hi! After sleeping with her every night. Oh. What is no? No, again. No. You forgot to call her number. Oh, you're a big fool. Asim, you are a big fool. No, come and collect the number. No, 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 no. If not, you're just oh, my oh, fool. Oh, what is your name? Eh? You, you mean you can't be focused in life for once? Huh? Huh? Don't mind this fool. Wait, after everything. After all the warnings from the king, even after the girl was sacked, you have a reason to collect her number. I mean, for what? For what? I beg, keep quiet. Idiots. <laughs> if the king, or the queen, or even the princess hears of this, what do you think will be your fate? Does he even think about that one? If he does, he will not be a gates man in this palace. And um, please, uh, don't be offended. I only asked for Ifunaya's number. But I'm sorry, I, I, I don't want the number anymore. You, you can... And I said, sorry for yourself, for even asking me for the number. You're a big fool. How long get out of here? You can never. Uh, friend, get out. Go and look for your girlfriend's number somewhere. Thank you, Sorry for yourself. Come on, get out. That's it. Oh, I hate this. It's quite tasty. Oh, I hate it. I think it's important. They sacked her. Mama, she lost her job because of me. It's okay. God will provide her with another job. Mama, the painful part of everything is I didn't take her number before she left. And I don't know where she lives. You mean you did not collect her number from her all this while? Her colleagues refused to give me. The truth is we were supposed to go to her place this weekend before this this whole thing happened and she got sacked. Now I don't know what to do. It's okay. If both of you are meant to be together, fate has a way of bringing you two together. I believe in it. I hope so, Mama. I hope so. I tried all the possible best to get the picture. But I didn't get the picture. What about any other material that he uses on his board? Any of his belongings? His shoes, jewelries, clothes, anything. He doesn't stay in this country, wise one. Mm. This is just the first time he's coming back. It will definitely not be easy. So wise one, how do I make it easy? Tell me, what can I do to make it work? 
I really want the prince for myself. Wise one, I can do anything just to get the prince. If it is true that you can do anything as you just said, you should try as much as you can to get his picture or any of his belongings. That is the only way it can work. Or other ways may not work, even after they might have cost you a lot. Yes, if you are really desperate, then you have to take desperate measures. <laughs> Are you right? Yes, my princess. It can be very funny like that. <laughs> my princess, I was just thinking, how will your brother look like? I hope he's as cute as you are. Of course, he's very cute. <laughs> All of us in our family are very cute. Hey, we don't have any ugly person in my family. So as for my brother, in one word, I would say he's dark and um, dark in complexion and very tall. Hmm. I can't wait to see him. Hey, of course, and um, you'll see him this weekend because he's coming this weekend. You're not happy to see him or something? No, I was just, I was just thinking, I was just surprised that he's coming back early. Now you know. That's why you're my girl. I'm giving you all the expose you need. So what are we saying? Get yourself ready. You have to be ready. <laughs> if you mess up, that's that will be on you. Not on me anymore, because I've done all the work for you. I have actually spoken to him about you and I sent in your pictures to him. And fortunately for you, I think he likes you. Thank you, my princess. Thank you so much, my princess. You, my girl, anything for you. I'm grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. So the ball is in your court now. Be a good player. A player, yeah. <laughs> okay. I almost got caught a second time by the princess. Thank God I was able to cover up. So this weekend, I won't be able to see Baba before the prince arrives. Well, no need. Since the princess has spoken to him about me, I'm sure he likes me already. Yes. You see this lady here? She's going to build the prince's choice after all. So yes, I need to see Baba. Ah, 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 
Igwe, what kind of game is this? Is this not the same boy that opens and closes the gate? Oh, the gate boy. Yes, it is the it same is boy. Yeah. Ah, my people, my people. So no one, my elders, people, this royal family, Obina here is my son, eh? my only son, my only son who remained undercover in this palace, working as a servant. He was here opening the gate, closing the gate. Working with the servants, being humiliated, suffering humiliation, suffering deprivation. Mm. Aye. The same boy. Oyibo oh, are indeed too much. My queen, how were they able to know that what you have in your stomach? <laughs> they called it ultrasound. Ultrasound? Mm hmm. Okay. Yes, the doctor placed the machine on my tummy and everything on my tummy showed on his television. You mean he placed it on the tummy and Marvin boy was seen? I, I, I wasn't able to see it myself. Yes, because uh, everything was dark. It was just at that moment. But the doctor saw and understood everything. Indeed, we bought too much, my queen. Yes, they are, they are, you know. It's just that it's costly. I just wish everyone, including the commoners, will afford it. At least to check the size of the baby. My queen, it's not a thing of worry. I know your heart. See, I think the only thing is that the thing is not rampant at the moment. Um, maybe so many hospitals do not have the facility. By the time it becomes very affordable, I know it will be affordable at the same time. So, do not worry yourself. I just hope so. Yes, yes. Levi. Igwe. I was told by the security man to inform you that Igwe has he, is here to see you in a matter of life and death. Please, where is he at? He's outside. Tell them to give him access immediately. Igwe. Um, Your Majesty. At this point, I will be waiting for you in our chambers. It's okay, my queen. I will join you shortly. Thank you. Please, please let me have it. Is dead. Brother, you've got no reason to invade my privacy. It's my privacy. I'm an adult for God's sake. Fuck! Now, so listen to me. In case you don't know, smoking is prohibited. In our culture, it's not our culture. It's a crime punishable by the law in this country. Yes, Nancy. We didn't send you abroad to go and learn their own useless way of life. We sent you there to go and study and act your own natural wisdom. So you'll be a better king after your father. Father! All these things you guys are saying is all trash. Fucking trash! Because this is not enough reason for you to, to, to invade my privacy. It's fuck! I'm an adult and I know what is good for myself. You must stop that thing you smoke in this house. Not anymore. You must stop it. <laughs> Look, no one tells me what to do. I have right to do what I want to do. No one tells me what 
to do. You're an old man, so you do your fucking old man stuff. I'm a young guy. Yeah. How now? Are you out of your mind? I am still your father. You must listen to me. What did you just do? You fucking hit me? I will hit you again. You hit me again and again. How many times me? You fucking hit me. Oh my lord, you need to slap him. You need to have done that. I love you. You know he's walking under the face of that hand drop. Yes, a slap will set back his brain. He will make him come back to his senses. How dare my son stand before me and talk to me in such manner? Nonsense. Oh, she slapped me right. Also, also, stop that. Slap me right. Stop, stop that. that. Also, stop that. Stop it. Drop that gun. Mama, Please. leave the fucking no, way. No, drop it. No, no. Leave so the fucking way before gun. this bullet hits you. Drop that gun. I'm your mother. Listen to Listen. me, not so. Drop it. I'm your mother, not Wait, so. Wait, drop it. Drop How that dare gun. you? Drop it. How dare you? Drop it. You lay your fucking filthy hands on me. Not so. Drop it. You fuck. Drop it. Not so. Your you mother. Fuck. Drop it. Mama, so. leave the fucking way before this bullet hits you. I'm your mother. Drop it. Hey. Not so. Please. You don't talk while I'm talking. Not so. Please. You don't talk while I'm talking. Drop it. You fuck, nigga. You fuck. Mama, you see what you've cast? You mean your son killed your wife and he's after your life? As we speak right now. My wife is lying in her own pool of blood in my palace. I do not want to believe this. I, I, I cannot believe this. You have to believe it. It is real. You have to. What is going on? What? What is? Igo has. I think. I think you need to stay here for some time. Stop asking me where I am. I am in a safe place. Go with your voice and arrest that bastard who calls himself my son. That arm robber. I need to come back home. I can only return back to that palace if that bastard has been taken to jail. Yes. I want to see my wife before she is finally deposited in the mug. Get rid of that bastard and get back to me with this number. Please help me with your number. Okay. 042. 042. 366. 366. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. I want my son to study abroad. I want him to live the best life. I want all the good things of life for him. Now all is vanity. How can a woman die of a bullet? Not from a stranger, neither an enemy. But from a son that she carried in her womb for nine months. The right question should be, how can a man dig his own grave? With his own hand, by the choices he made. All in the name of living in affluence and wealth. How can a man be the architect of his own failure? Mm. Too many questions, yet unknown answer. You hello? Okay. Igor Harzi, you have a call. Hello. Commissioner. Have you apprehended the bastard? Good. No. I must see my wife before she is finally deposited in the mug. Yes. I am coming home right away. Thank you. Thank 
Emperor Hazi. I am sorry for all you've been through lately. Please do accept my condolence. Did I deserve it? I have got what I deserve already. Thank you for the comfort of your peaceful home. Thank you. That same night, Igor Hase, who could not refrain from blaming himself from the grievous mistakes of his life, took his own life. Oh, hey. Hey. When I heard news of his death, sleep left my eyes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. He go around his son, but down his father's palace. One week he returned from abroad. He go near his son, ripped his father's wife, that's his stepmother. And he also ripped all the maidens in the palace. And his father placed the curse on him. Now, Igwe has his son, has killed his mother, and his father have died of heartbreak. One thing is common among these kings. They all raised their sons abroad and gave them all the best things of life. Oh, a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. Yes. Looking around me and um, seeing all that have befallen other kings around and um, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that Obina might grow up to behave like other prince around. Well, I don't think so, my king. We will commit him in the hands of God. This is not God's responsibility. Choice. Choice, my queen. Children that are trained in great affluence. That are given what they want and need, even the ones they don't need. Grow to see that the world is that they are forced to. They do whatever they want, however they want it. And nothing will happen. They go out of it. That is not how I want my prince to be. But you were a prince years back, and your father. My father disciplined me. You cannot compare the training children of those days were given to what we give children of these days. I don't get you. Where are you headed? Where I'm headed is children trained in poor homes by poor parents grow to be wiser. I'm afraid, my queen, I do not want such for my print. I do not want Obina to grow up in this palace. Never. Your Majesty. <sighs> okay, so what do you intend to do? I have a plan, my queen. Though it's still in progress, but I'll tell you about it at the right time. I don't, I don't like this your idea at all. I do not like it. Obina can never be raised in this palace. Never. Uh, no more this. 
Other kings do send their sons abroad to go and learn and come back to take over from them. But here you are talking about sending your own son to a poor family. Your Majesty, I'm lost here. My parents didn't send me abroad, so I will never send my son abroad. But you should understand, Your Majesty, that the times of your fathers are not the same with now. These children go abroad to learn cultures that are not ours. No value system, no respect for humanity, no value for life, use of hard drugs, use of foul languages. They learn these abominable things that ruins them. I do not want same for my son. I want him to be raised under the care of a poor parent. Because poverty itself is a teacher. I, I know of a woman by name Ojugo. She, she stayed back from getting married with the intentions of raising children in her own father's compound. It appeared she, she's barren. She never had a child for them until their death. I think she is a picture of the perfect description of what you want, my king. Is she from this our kingdom? She is from Ochasiasa, but not directly from Amokwe. She is from Ubinago. Better, because I wouldn't want him to be raised where anyone will recognize him. I know what you want, your majesty. And on no account should she know that he's royalty. Yes, your majesty. When are you coming to pick him? Do you want it that soon? I do not have time. Afunwa will be coming to take our son to Obinago next week Sunday. My king, are you sure this is what you want? 100%. Are you also sure that this is the best decision for our son? I am so certain, my queen. What then do we tell people when they ask about our son? That he traveled abroad to be one of his uncles and um, to attend his primary, secondary and um, tertiary education. That's simple. I see you have made up your mind. Sorry. And at the same time, I can't stop the king's decision. Let it be as you have said, Your Majesty. At this point, I think um, you have to pray that the gods be with him. You should know that my prayers are always with him. Obina, mm. Obina. Nah, be careful anyway. Don't be offended. I don't really get what you're saying. Okay. I have this boy that I, I gave birth to another woman far away on Utubo. And I don't want my wife and my family to know about the boy yet. And um, the problem now is that the mother is getting married. And the people, her people said I should come and collect my son. Because there's nobody to take care of her. The, 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 the boy in, in the family house. So I, I've been thinking about it. I don't know what to do. I, I just remembered you. I said, maybe, I don't know if you if you like it. Let me, let, me, let me bring the boy here because I don't want my family and my wife to know about him yet. Let me, let me bring the boy here so that the boy, you, you, you help me raise the boy. The boy will just know you as, as his mother. You understand? At the right time, when the time is right, I will still come and take him back to my family. At least it has 
it, it has it will save me from this uh, immediate uh, shame that is about to come up now please now i see Afuma, what put this idea in you is not ordinary but i thank god now i know my days are long on eight thank you so much Welcome. thank you so much Welcome. but wait though yeah. hope you'll be giving us some money for his schooling and other things. Yeah, yes, yes. I was sending, I was sending the mother money, so I will, I will, I will continue to send you money. Oh, okay, we're going. Okay. It's finished. So like God it. bless you. Yeah, My God will continue to bless you so for remembering a childless woman like me. Yeah. You will never lack. So what you used to train that boy will not be a problem so to you. So shall it be. So Thank you so much. Please, I put Obina in your hands. Ensure he is safe and well taken care of, please. My friend. He won't be needing any of those clothes. Um, Afuma here would have to shop for him and get him some handful of Okarika, so I would advise you drop that. Okay, my lord. My queen, why are you crying? Not like we are selling him. We are doing this for his own betterment. Son, Uncle will be taking you to Grandma's place. We will come from time to time to visit you. Then, um, Afuma, please. <sighs> You are just like your father. Wow. Ubina. People are welcome. Ubina, you will be staying with Mama. Eh? I will be coming from time to time to come and see you. Inugo? Inugo? I'm now your new mother, yeah? Hmm? He's just like you. <laughs> wow. I'll be doing now. Okay, no problem. Here's yes. the bag. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be doing now. Oh, no problem. No problem. You better. Take care. Bye. Take care of you, man. Obi Obi. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm now your new mother. Hmm? My son. Wow. <laughs> You're just like your father. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go inside. <clears throat> that was how I sent my son to his foster mother here. Or you go. Everyone kept asking after him. Oh no, you particularly asked after him repeatedly. I told all of you, I told you that I had sent him overseas to his aunt to study. Sent him to have his education. When the time finally came for him to return, our next hurdle became getting him a decent wife. There again, I was one step ahead. Darling, when are we bringing home our son? He is due for marriage. Yes, you know. 
I've been thinking lately. What are you thinking about? If we spent these 25 years without living with our son, just to mold him into becoming the man we want him to be. And he returns to this palace and ends up marrying the wrong girl. What have we gained? Um, darling, it depends on the kind of wife you want him to marry. Well, I've always wanted my son to marry into a poor family. Yes, I married from a poor family and uh, I'm not regretting it today. Thanks for that. But please, let him come home first. Then we can talk about his marriage. No. We shall complete what we started. How do you mean? Marrying a girl who has served in this palace is a great advantage. We have many maidens and ladies, women, workers serving in this place. If our son returns and comes into this palace to look for a wife, most of them are going to start concealing their characters. And that way, he's, going, he's not going to find a good wife. So tell me, what are you up to this time? <clears throat> Our son is going to come into this palace first as a servant. As a servant, he mingles with the girls, with the servants in the palace. Any of the girls who accepts him as a servant, that is, as the servant he is, deserves to be his wife. But darling, do you think any of those girls will accept to marry a common palace servant? Well, nothing ventured, nothing lost. Let's just give it a try. It will work. It's okay. Let's give it a try. Like you say. Father, haven't you subjected my brother to enough torture already? I mean, he grew up in the slums, even though he's a prince. And now you want to go bring him to come back to the palace and serve as a mess servant. Isn't that too much? Even Jesus Christ did it. Yes. You see, Jesus Christ, even though God himself, came down in form of a man. And men subjected him to torture. He was treated like a pauper. He was spat on. He was beaten. He was humiliated. And the worst was that he suffered death on the cross. Meanwhile, his father had better plans for him, higher plans. And so today, Christ is the greatest name ever to exist in this world. You're right there, Father. But come on, how do you expect me to possibly treat my own blood brother like a mere servant. <laughs> Father, this is crazy. Like, you have to. You have to. In fact, you need to. You need to treat him 
shabbily, treat him badly. In fact, in front of the servants, in front of the maids, you need to even humiliate him the more. Yes, if you don't do that, then they will suspect that we have a plan. And I'm sure we don't want that to happen. Honestly, if this is wisdom, then wisdom is not a friend of humanity. It is wisdom. Indeed, if you people see the man our son has turned out to be, you will forever be grateful to me. Trust me. Majesty, why don't you want me to reveal his identity to him yet? I want him to come in as a palace worker first. I need him to marry from among the palace maids. Someone who, who will love him not because of his status, but because of what he is. So, what if at the end of the day, none of the guests likes him to the extent of marriage? What have we gained in subjecting him to such shame? <sighs> Why don't we just try, hoping that it will work? Yes. And, uh, when shall we then reveal his identity to you? When we are ready, I will let you know. Just know that God has decided to bless you, Amama. The salary the king will be paying you at the end of every month, no institution in the city or any other place around this region will pay you. <laughs> Afoma, <laughs> wait. When do I start? Immediately. Like tomorrow? If you want to start today, you start today. Wait. But I've never been to the palace before. Wouldn't they send me away if I go there? Nobody will send you away. Tell them that I, Afoma, sent you, that you want to see the king. When you see the king, tell him that I was the one that sent you. Eh? Mm. That's all. Afonwa? Mm? I should tell the, the king you, yes. you sent me? Yes, yes. And that would be all. Just like that? Just like that. Just like that? Just like that. Hey! Hey! <laughs> That was how the crown prince of Otasiasa kingdom returned to his kingdom, to his palace. Not as a prince, but as a servant. It wasn't easy for me at all. It wasn't easy for my wife. It wasn't easy for his sister here. But we had each of us our own respective role to play. And God helped us and we played that role creditably. Hmm. <sighs> the game is up. We already won. Really? Yes. Can't you see? Fate has brought both of them together. My best palace maiden. The same girl I would have chosen for him to marry. They're madly in love. So much so that I beginning to ask myself, what am I waiting for? Let's let the cart out of the bag. 
Wow. So happy to hear this, Igwe. Thank you so much for believing in me. I have okay. you, I have you to be grateful to. Huh? I owe you one. You did this job perfectly well. Ah! I'm so happy. And I'm relieved. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ibi. <sighs> I want to have a word with you. Oh, a word with me? Yes. Uncle, I, I hope for all, all is well. All is well? Uh -huh. Oh, Binna, can you remember when you were very little that I, I, I brought you to Mama? Uh, which Mama? Your Mama? Ojugu. Can you, can, can you, can you remember? Uncle, you are confusing me. <laughs> I know you will not remember. <laughs> you are still very tender. Ah. I was the one that brought you to that place you are living now. Ah. Your village house. Ah. It's not your home. This is your home. Your real home. Ah. This is your father's house. How? Come with me. Um, um, uncle, um, if the princess comes back and sees that I'm not at my duty post, uh, she will be very upset with me. I'm here now. Don't worry about the princess. Just follow me. Hi. Open now. Sir? Come with me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Hi. Obinna. Sir? Come now. Good age has caught up with this man. He's just saying rubbish here. Yeah. So, today is the day. day. I don't know how to look into his eyes no and tell him that I am his mother. I'm from my side. Majesty, I, I, I told him I have to be at the gate. He said I should follow him. He, he forced me to follow him inside. Huh? I, I told him I have to be, be a bit. No, 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 Queen, there, there must be a mistake somewhere. I gave back to you. No, my name is Obina, the gate man. I know. Huh? Come and hug me. Hug you. Hug me. Queen, I've not had my battle. It's okay. Huh? Father. 
These were the apps that brought you into this world. This is you when you were a few months old. This is your father, the king. And this is me when I was pregnant of your sister here. And this is you again on your first birthday. You see, I am your mother. I carried you for whole nine months in my womb. So you're my son. <laughs> I believe all of you. Oh, nice. <laughs> but, um, I have to see my mother. <laughs> no need to bother. I think it's better I follow him to Odugos. He needs to hear from the horse's mouth. Oh, but I gave birth to him. He is my son. Oh, no, 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 no. He's coming back. Uh, Odugo will now tell him. Odugo will tell him. Don't worry, my, my, my queen. He's coming back. My okay. king. Let me tell you. Father, are you not going to do anything about this? <sighs> what happened to my son? Afonwa, what did you do to my son? I, I had to reveal to him his true identity. Um, I think uh, it is high time he knew exactly where he came from. And you want to take him back now? Yes. Mama. So it is true. You are not my real mother. My son, I am your mother. Motherhood transcends beyond pregnancy and breastfeeding. I may not have given birth to you. I may not have breastfed you. But the bond we share is only between a mother and a son. If they want to take you away from me, there's nothing I can do. I cannot start dragging with both hands what does not belong to me. Always known that a day like this would come. 
but I didn't know it was going to be this soon. Mama. I'm finished. King did not want you to know that he's a prince for the fear of uh, you telling him one day. So I had to lie to you that he is my son. Obin here is actually the crown prince of Otasasa kingdom. Obin Namwan. Obin Nankem, a prince. So why have we been suffering all these years? That was exactly the plan. So that he can be raised to a better man. Exactly the way he is now. This is unbelievable. Eh? If I'm going back to that palace, my mother has to come with me. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the, the, the king already said that. <laughs> yes. Um, tomorrow, uh, the royal convoy is coming to take both of you to the palace. That is where you'll be staying for the rest of your life. It is going to be an official return. <coughs> but what about the prince? I hear he returns from overseas as everyone expects him. You are actually the prince we have been expecting his return. There is no other prince to Otosiasa kingdom except you. Today, today my son is back. <laughs> back to his kingdom. Back to the royal house. Hey. Not as a servant, but a prince, royalty, <laughs> resplendent in movement. Odogu, Odogu. He is back from the assumed trip he was sent abroad to go and study. He went abroad. This boy did not study hard drugs. He did not study disrespect to constituent authority, disrespect to elders. This boy came back learning the virtues of life, of our traditional life. He was under the tutelage of uh, Oju. Ojugo taught him all that. Ojugo taught him every good thing. Taught him all the virtues of our traditional life. Ojugo. Ojugo. I owe you one. This kingdom owes you one. Ojugo. As long as I live, as long as I remain Igwe, Ojugo's name will be emblazoned in every space, every public place in this kingdom. Igwe. The name Ojugo will be carved out as street names as road names in this kingdom. Igwe! Ojugo, I'm not done with you yet. Because what you did for this kingdom will be remembered for eternity. 
kingdoms will remember what this woman did for us. Rise. Rise. Stop crying. Stop crying. Obina. How do you feel? Tell us. Um, Igwe, may your days be long, my king. Um, I'm very excited to be here. Um, Igwe, I have a lot to say. But before I proceed, um, I would like to inform everyone that this gathering is not complete without the woman who made it possible for me to continue and got to this level of the game. However, I can see the faces of some of the people who despised and hated me as a gate man in this palace. Forgive. Son, forgive. Or you go. Tell him to forgive. Igwe, I have forgiven them. <laughs> but I would like to humbly request that Ifunaya the one who stood by me the one who lost her job for me to retain mine the love of my life my best friend be brought back to the palace before I proceed with my speech yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? You've married him. What did you come here for? To mock me? Naya. <laughs> Rina is my brother, not my husband. What are you saying? Obina, what is she saying? It's a long story, Ishi. Yes. If Nanya, you see, the same Obina, you know. The same Obina you saw and fell in love with. I mean, the same Obina that served as a good man in the palace. He's still the same one sitting right here before you. He's a prince, and he's my brother. Everything you believed was a lie. Mama, huh? what is going on? Am I dreaming, Mama? Maybe you should wake me up. No, you are not dreaming, my daughter. Eh? Both of us, we are here. Before they arrive, 
Then what are they saying? I don't understand anything. Me too. I was equally shocked myself when the secret was revealed to me. Ify, I have always been a prince. A prince who was raised by a woman who I thought was my mother. I never knew that history about me. Ifunaya, you have to accept it. I am a prince. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about all we went through. How they dehumanized us. How they frustrated us. How they treated us like nothing. But I'm sorry to say this. Everything was a script. My sister was only acting. She never hated me or hated you. She was only acting. It was a game. But I learned a lot from that game. I learned so much from you, Ifunaya. When I think about everything you did for me, all the encouragement you gave me, I couldn't stay a day without thinking about you. And that is why I'm here. If only I came back for you. I did. Yes. Oh. This is... This is a shock. Yes. It was a shock to me as well. I felt the same way too. But I am here now. I came back for you. I came back for the love of my life. You stood by me. And I'm here to stand by you. I love you. I love you so much. So much. Come here, my queen. <laughs> so much. Everything is alright. Okay? My daughter, fate, your warm heartedness, kind heartedness, your compassion, your general friendly nature, they have all brought you back to this royal family. Not as a maid, not as a maiden. But as a princess. Welcome, my daughter. Welcome to this royal family. Welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, my queen. Welcome, Ifna. Thank you, Mama. Son, son, you go. That's your way. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Well, that shall never end. Who could believe that the prince we all have been waiting for has been living here with us? Hey! Eh? Get you, my friend. Ah, this one you're carrying your bag. Where are you going to? Adako. Eh? He's here at my father's house. I am going back to my father's house. I will not do again. NKBBC should not do again. I am going to my father's house. That really? Is. Yes. 
Hey! But you told me that the princess was arranging you and promised you that her brother was going to marry you. What happened? It's not everything you use and joke. Don't joke with me. It's not funny. <laughs> what is funny about it? <laughs> NK baby. No NK baby me. You don't want to marry the prince again. I don't marry again. I'm going home. <laughs> God, you don't want to marry the prince again? <laughs> hey! This is serious. Yes. Where are you going with this bag? Amobi, open this gate. And look, the king have not told me that he has sacked you. Not to talk of you carrying bag along and say you want to leave. How can I allow you to leave? Amobi, you're looking for my trouble. You don't know me, Kechu. Open this gate. I have to leave this bag. Look, you have no, you have no right to leave without the order from the king. You have no right. So where are you going now with this bag? Amobi. You are looking for my trouble. Mm -hmm. And that trouble, I will give it to you back and forth. You are, Without I, I just case, learning. Who are you? You are just learning. But the time I finish with you, look, don't let me look. Don't look. try me around. Like, the prince has not told me. No, 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 no. What is it? It's not possible. No. Whatever what? you are carrying there, I must see it. You see what? I must see what is What's going on? What is it? Eh? She just came out there with her back and said she wants to leave. I really don't know if she has taken something from the from the palace. It's possible she has told you no. and it's about to run. You're the one like this. Mm. You are a thief. Your generation, generation is a thief. Because not. your mother, your father, your uncle, your auntie is a thief. Okay, chill. Okay, okay. What is it? Now? Now, Moby, what's going on here? My prince. Hmm? She just came out and said she is living. I was asking why are you why are you going going, 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 going away from the palace? She said she is going. I just suspected that something was going on. It's possible she has told you something. So for her to tell me now that she wants to leave with her bag, she has to explain. Until I get an order from there, I won't allow her to go. It's possible she has told you something from the palace. You are the one that is eating. Very big team. Some big of team. them are like that. You are a big team. Mm -hmm. What is it? We will see. Nkechi. That's how they behave. Why do you want to leave? Ah, ah. Why won't I leave? If he, I decide when to leave and when not to leave. Am I going to sleep in this palace? Am I asleep? I want to go. Open up. I'm Obi. Let her go. Get lock. If that was my prince, eh? Hmm. You pass this gate today. How oh, you carry your two lock lock? Come on. 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 See, you must know that the guilty is always on the run, even when nothing is chasing them. That's true. You have done well. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Ah, oh, man. You will just call you like that. Don't carry your things like a pass. Not possible. What will I do? You shall never be well with that princess for making me pass through all these things. Um, all this why she has been using my head. She will suffer. She will suffer this heartbreak I'm suffering. She will suffer. <laughs> we get princess.
Oh, you can 